Is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another FNM Take Action here. Or Take Action FNM. Jesus, sorry. Long day. All right. First up, we've got some of our usuals here. Carmel Salinas playing some red stuff, which he is apparently the guy for. Um, and then Matt Wise playing some Sahili Rai stuff. So artifact is it? stuff. <laughs> right, is it? Um, Matt is always known as the Sahili or the artifact guy. Oh, he's also known as the combo guy. And here yeah, he is yeah. playing a Sahili Rai deck that I believe is not the combo Sahili Rai. Not the combo. I, see, I assume it has combos. Matters. It combos I mean, with artifact. Effects, you yeah, know. I mean, how do, how does this Healy Rye deck not have some degree of a combo in it? I mean, I guess a lot of people have a pretty loose uh, definition of combo. You know, two cards put together is a combo, I guess. So that card is defaultly a combo with any card that is on the table. <laughs> so, all right, not off to a super aggressive start here. I like. I was actually just looking at this Obosh guy earlier today, thinking how fun it would be to build around him. He's one of the more, I mean, he's not interesting because he just burns stuff, but I would, I still would like to say he's more interesting of a companion, myself at least. All right, we got steam vents from Matt. Uh, I think he's thinking about stuff. Let's see what he's thinking about. Nope. Oh, okay. You just shuffling. Just shuffling. He's going to Serum Visions. Oh, I know what he's doing now. Is this the, uh, it's the Steal thing, Your Artifacts Yeah, it's thing. the thing that Caleb okay. did um, for a minute. Yeah, yeah. This was popular for a minute. This seems interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I chose Matt's deck because uh, I just wanted to see something that we hadn't really seen, something interesting, and it struck me as that. And so I chose him kind of beforehand, and then I saw he was playing Carmel, and hopefully I'm not just uh, giving the wolf to the slaughter, and here we go. Um, and there's the monkey. Uh, you know, this Uncontested mon monkey, yeah. How about, like, this goes in step. Um, the monkey with shields, with shields down is just so much better than the monkey any other way, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's... That's why, like... I kind of like you, it as a Zobosh deck. It kind of gives you a two-drop when you aren't really allowed to have two drops, you know? Yeah, like, yeah uh, exactly. No, that's uh, good. Pairs with the uh, the giant, which also kind of gives you a two-drop yeah. when you're not supposed to have two drops. No, I feel like the monkey is uh, better as a two-of as opposed, as opposed to a four-of in a deck. See, I don't know about that because I just feel like the card's only really good on turn one. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I, <laughs> like, how I would opt to play it would be like a, a Jeskai control tempo thing you know where like you're you're paving the way and then you're going to play it late and it, it, it as a tempo control win condition makes more sense to me because if you get into a, a match where it's a creature match like mm. the monkey just dies like he just gets stonewalled yeah. so easy yeah not to say that he's not a powerful card because he obviously is but yeah i could actually see monkey as uh uh a sideboard, the classic uh, control sideboard option yeah, yeah, where yeah. you play no creatures game one and then you board into a creature. Like, that'd be a really that's, sweet creature. That's what makes sense to me with a monkey, but... You know, your opponent boards out all the removal and stuff. And uh, So, uh, this is the problem with putting this deck on stream is I have no idea what that card is. That is the liquid metal torque. Oh. It's a second version of liquid metal coating. Okay, if I remember right, this one it hits. That's, it doesn't. Actually, it doesn't hit lands, right? No, but it's a mana rock, okay. so okay. it has a good degree of relevance just on account of that. Now, yeah, this is a rough match for Matt for sure because this is a slow, slow thing. Yeah, and I knew we. I knew that there was a possibility we're just yeah. you know, leaving the wolves to the slaughter, but. Uh, you know, so, it's, it's okay. I really I really like the deck. I'm sure he's got some good sideboard stuff, too. I like the concept. The one thing that I don't know about right now is the Urza Saga, because I can't think of exactly what he's getting um, off of it that synergizes with what the deck is doing at all. And getting put I down... I mean, it gets liquid metal coating, right? No. It doesn't? No, liquid metal coating is a two-drop. Okay, and th this thing only gets one... One mana or zero mana. Mm -hmm. So I'm, there's something. There's going to yeah, be something, yeah. but I don't know if it's anything that actually does anything for the deck other than just, like, basic utility cards. 
And I yeah, feel like your basic Mishra bobble. Yeah, because he's playing. He's playing a card that's a welding kicker. welding jar. He's playing a card that's a kicker card, and although like the bit is that you, you know, steal lands with it, like he's about to do right now, um, but I still I feel like you want some mana. He's and like, yeah, he's getting gonna, put he's down. Steal your artifact. Getting put down a land off of the saga in a deck that's fairly gonna it's gonna be fairly mana mana hungry i don't i don't like that that's what i don't like about the saga right here yeah the yeah i i 100 agree with that uh this does look like a mana hungry deck but we're seeing we're seeing the power of monkey on you know the turn one or the you know the turn two dash Oh, yeah. uh, just because you know he's just stolen of his lands, and because he's got all this treasure, it just do- doesn't even really matter all that matter much. A whole lot, yeah. yeah, exactly. Now the monkey, monkey's good. I don't know. Like I feel like it. It is cool that he got a uh, for Matt that he got a creature land that he can actually activate in his yeah. deck, which is oh, kind of yeah, neat. Definitely. And stealing the oh. land, <laughs> I mean, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. So that just kills Saga right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. This no value. Man, Carmel knows how to call a room. <laughs> oh man, I'm bringing here. No. Well, I was be curious to see uh, what kind of shatter effect he has here to kind of maybe get rid of get rid of the Magus. Now, this is a very interesting deck on Matt's end. I, I, I assume he's doing more than just, you know, like... I, I don't know what... Right, he's going to make the monkey condition. an artifact, and he's going to steal the monkey. Now, the one of the frustrating parts about a deck like this is you only have four copies of the thing that is the deck. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you got more copies of the things to synergize with the one card... But there's still only one card. Oh, there has to be something else. I, he's probably playing something else. I just yeah, I, I figure he's got, he's got to have some kind of like shatter effect or something, yeah. right? Are you? Uh, yeah, one, yeah, thing one thing I do know, but I've played against the Obosh Red deck a million times online, and Carmel is going to have a shit ton of artifact destruction if he wants it after yeah. a sideboard. Oh yeah. I know that they always play Shattering Spree, which is probably just the best. Um. Most of the time, there are moments where it might not so be. Un- it's just so uncounterable. Yeah, no, it's it's good there. So it's it's the best against a deck with blue that's an artifact deck. But there's also, um, uh, what's it called? The X one. The X one's pretty effective too. And then the Vandal Blast yeah. is also good. There, I think there's three really good. Yeah, I've, I've, all, hate cards. I've always liked the Shattering Spree in a mono red deck because it gets around Chalice, which is probably yeah. a deck that normally just cripples. Yeah, yeah. No, if you're if you're mono red and you yeah. are like playing a lot of one drops, which this deck's a little wonkier. Yeah, it's not, not as good. Like if you were, like in Matt's deck, if Matt wanted an effect like that, an X spell probably would be better just because he's going to have less red yeah, sources. Yeah. Uh, so I assume we're going to see the giant, or what's what's he got here? Um, hammer, but holy shit. Carmel, you get always get all the points from me. He's playing fucking Hammer of a Garden. You know, that's old school. It wasn't this in the original, like the the classic cube. Yeah, yeah. I was, didn't know that this was a modern legal card. Yeah, like this this comes back, right? Yeah, like, it's it caught for a fucking shit ton of mana. Yeah, but yeah, it and it's only on your upkeep or something uh-huh. like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Oh, I, I remember that this was in. I love that, dude. This is in the original uh, classic. Uh, Take action cube, but or it used to be. I don't know if no, it's still. Yeah, it's, it's still in there. Yeah, yeah. That cube is still. That's the best around. cube we've done. Like, uh, we need oh, to. Yeah. That's so we have so so little Can't time, but. Oh, I know. Uh, but we should. Though. We, we've been we we've been talking shit about doing a uh, a Ravna cube yeah, coming Ravna soon. Ravna cube would be fucking amazing, and there's a shatter effects, which that's the best choice for it. Oh yeah. A braid. Yeah, yeah, but Braid's a really good choice yeah. for Matt's deck. That's a, just a super versatile card. No, this deck got a lot better because it got the second copy of Coding. Uh, and uh, the copy of Coding uh, that makes mana. A Braid's just the ultimate removal spell in this deck. I mean, mm-hmm. it can kill little things and it can kill the biggest things. Nice. All right. Yeah, Matt is definitely not out of this at all. Yeah. He's the, got all kinds the, of the problem, uh, the problem with Matt's game here is... 
It, the mono red Obosh deck just has the inevitability, and it feels like it never runs out of cards. And he has no way to gain life that I can think of. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. just is it the is it colors don't get there? There yeah. are a there's few a, artifacts a throughout history that do yeah, it, but he's probably got dragon's claws or something. Yeah, but it, it, this game one is going to be pretty hard to win. You, you you don't have dragon claws game one. Yeah, I know that's right, Micah. That bolt to have to kill the stolen uh, monkey would yeah that was that would feel real bad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Well, how, how many cards does Selena's have in his hand? Boop. Um, so he's he got, puts that Obosh in there, and he's got a Pyromancer, so that's, yeah, that's a grip. Yeah, that's a good follow-up to yeah, the Obosh. for sure. I think, I think what he'd, he'd like, like to do is draw a land so that he can go Obosh, and then the turn after play the Giant yeah. and the, uh, mm. the Pyromancer. Well, there's this thing. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's going to make, make that Obosh harder to cast. For sure. Ugh. Wait, wait, he's doing okay. Yeah, he's just he's gonna... just doing the thing. Okay, that's so gross. I hate that card. <laughs> All right, yeah, so see some well. pyromancer. This is what's coming up next. So it's... do you do you just jam the pyromancer and get rid of the obosh since the obosh is kind of gonna be an uncastable yeah, card? I, I mean, would. it feels I like would. it feels like a solid play. Yeah, looks like he's got one of the spell lands. Yeah, no, Matt. Um. Like, I feel like Car Carmel needs to start getting 10 points of damage on the battlefield now, and the best way yeah. to do that is to cast the Pyromancer. <laughs> Matt's got his own blood moon. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's feeling really bad in this yeah. one, Matt. Yeah, no, he God, needs to God get damn it, Matt. You and your blood moons. Yeah, he needs to get what's, this uh, one. What's the other card he pitched there? Um, I think it's the Spell Land, the one damage from okay. the Spell Land. Yeah, yeah, get that the fuck out of here. <laughs> Although he could have just played it as a land, Yeah, and he should have. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, he wanted. Uh, he he got a he, he got an extra taker. dude. Okay, yeah, Ex yeah, extra power. Which of this board right now matters? Yeah, this this Ka Matt this Karn's just gonna. Anything. All right, so let's is see. He, what... he gonna make a big dude here? It looks like he's. He's thinking about it. No, he... no, no. He didn't. No. No. Okay. okay, he's gonna float a mana. Um. <sighs> Maybe he's gonna activate the the dude. Is he gonna get? Flipped? Oh, what is that? That's the uh, the mill thing. <laughs> That is, that's silly. I think that's the mill thing. The mill, it look, is it? It kind of looks like the a dragons, the Tarkir mill thing. I think that's what that is. Okay. okay. Right. I don't know. Let's radio in. What's that artifact you just put in play, Matt? Uh, altar of the Brood. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, that's uh, that is that is the one you were thinking of. I can't remember exactly what the wording is. We can whenever a permanent comes into play, they each opponent mills a card, something like that. Okay. Um, which is a little funky. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that's for. I, I don't like this against a lava dart opponent. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't like this against a season I mean, iron I mean, opponent. Yeah. Well, he's never going to get to five. Lands again, I don't think. Yeah, so. no, not with that random mill but, on the uh, table. That's yeah, and I guess Lava Dart's going to be kind of tricky here, too. Yeah. But, I mean, he just kind of, he didn't have any dudes, so. Yeah, no, Matt, um, he's given, Carmel has a window, because Matt needs to draw into some real action, which he's got action because he's got Karn, so it depends what's in the sideboard, which we know he's going to. Do we, so let's do we know see. what the Pithing Needle is on? Uh, this, I think that's a, no, maybe Season Pyromancer. All right, Matt's getting dragged. I thought it was on a land initially, but I don't, or I don't know bridge. what to... Uh, of course. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's a good card. card. That card is so boring. <laughs> it, it is, but it's, it also, is, it's, it's also, also pretty powerful. powerful. No, like, I'm not is... taking away its power. It's powerful as shit, but it is just boring. Like, woo, you gotta... You well, yeah, I forgot he gets to use that mana because it's on yeah. the, your main phase, which is kind of cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, solid plays this turn by Matt. Um, Blood Moon. I don't know what that does. Turns off his own cards. Yeah, well, it gets, turns, turns off his gets, man land. Right now, it gets a card out of his hand, so he doesn't have to worry yeah, about it. Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly what it does. That's what it's doing right now. <laughs> All right. So, and he's going to make it to where this uh, mountain doesn't do anything this turn. I think we're still good. I mean... 
How, how much? Uh, how much does this uh, burn spell hit for? This uh, it's just hammer? three. Just three. Yeah. Yeah, Carmel's in a rough spot. Yeah. I think, I think that, that Matt might have just stolen this one, one, honestly. I think so. Yeah. No, he's he's hitting pretty he's, well. He's not full lock, but he's pretty damn close to a full yeah, lock. He's blowing up a land every turn. Uh, does he have? He has one card in hand, so. Oh, he can attack. So he, oh, okay. he, he can attack for two. Well, the thing that sucks is Carmel's going to go after the card, and Matt has another card in hand, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. well, he didn't. He went after. He went after Matt's life total. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Nice. So. Now he, he shoot the card. No. no he's going after Matt. I kind of feel like maybe shooting the card just so we yeah. can't. So well, you can't get another thing for Matt. I think, I think it's, it's pretty, pretty pretty important that he draws a land here because he needs yeah. to be able like he needs he can't take another hit from these one ones. He needs yeah. to be able to clear his hand here. Yeah. And what does he draw? Oh, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty bad. That's the definition of redundancy there. Oh, right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Micah. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, this is my problem. Is This is not the first time I've seen a Blood Moon player put Blood Moon in their deck and then lose to Blood Moon. They, yeah, they totally just lost to Blood Moon. Blood Moon is trash right here. It was trash when he played it. The one he drew is even worse. Yeah. So he gets... He he, that. he he lost to Blood Moon, his own Blood Moon. Uh, he can play. He can get back down to one card in hand. He's gonna gain one life here because he's gonna play Blood Moon. Yeah, that almost. Uh, it's just <sighs> now it's it's clunky. I mean, I still think he's pretty safe in this game. I don't feel like he is. Uh, I mean, I, well, he, okay, he gained one life himself, which is yeah. helpful. Car, he's going to gain one. He's going to he's going to gain plays. two, but he's just dead to to burn. That. Yeah, he's dead to burn for sure. For sure. Um, so he'll be able to get the other. Carmel has some dead cards in hand too. He's yeah. got a flame slash and a relic. I think it was a relic progenitus, which doesn't do anything with Karn in play. Right. Yeah. And he's going after the Karn. Okay. Which, that's good. Get that off the table. But, but as, as you, you said, said, Matt has, has another, another one. one. Yeah. All right. Uh, I like this. going to cycle it right now? Yeah, yeah I, I like, like it. it. Oh, two of them. Okay. okay. Well, well, I think, I think they're, they're both going to be cycled, cycled on Matt's turn <laughs> in response to Connor. And did he draw a land? I think he uh, might have drawn a No? Heavy Dirty Soul says it won him two, to, two of his five rounds. When he showed up last, I mean, combo. That's what combo decks do. They randomly win. They they, they win games. As long as it didn't lose you the other three of the five, then you know. Right. Oh, Blood Moon, yeah. No, I, I just I just feel like the the people that play Blood Moon, the 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 diehards, they think that like they live by the the law that like Blood Moon just wins the game, and it doesn't just win the game. Yeah. Here, it's it's trash. Like if it's still in his like I. Matt's a smart player. He's going to remove it from his deck. Yeah, yeah. No, people people in general have a tendency to overplay Moon for sure. Does that Was the cyborging, did you leave Blood Moon in your deck when you shouldn't have? <laughs> because that's what normally happens. Right. Oh, by the way, anybody listening in, how does the audio sound? Any echo? Everybody sound level? Every fucking week. John Brown. Yeah, I'm fucking. A Everybody always player. says that it sounds great, and you'll well, find a flaw fucking, with that. It never that. does sound as perfect as it needs to. I'm fucking tired of it. I need to have good audio. You'll, you'll find, find out. out. I was stapling fucking soundproofing panels to the ceiling at fucking 550. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For FNM. So uh, now Matt's looking pretty good. He's got the dragon call, and uh, he's uh, he's got an empty hand, which yeah, that's is, what he wanted. That's, that's where you want to be. All right. Thank you. Yeah, good. It should sound balanced. That's what we've been going for. Last week was pretty good, but my mic was a little high because it was brand new and we didn't adjust the audio settings yet. But, all right, yeah, Matt seems pretty good here. He still has a lot of damage to do, though. Nice little mountain he played there. Really yeah. expensive one. He has a lot of damage to do that 
he's a ways from doing. So I think he's playing a concession. <laughs> We're getting to his wacky combo with Sahili, I guess. Uh, Matt, I hate the things you play, but I appreciate you playing them. All right, he's going to deal <laughs> one damage to Matt, but uh, Matt missed his trigger. Matt, Matt missed his... Uh, so, uh, and Isaiah. So, so Carmel just played the deal one damage to you card against Matt, who has Dragon Claw in play, and Matt dropped his life total one. That should have just been a wash, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, Matt, man, I, I I commented before that you never miss a trigger. Boy, do I feel like a dumbass. <laughs> the spell land that deals one damage. Oh, Ancient Grudge. No, he didn't forget that one. No, maybe he, did, maybe he thought that it was colorless. It wasn't. You missed a trigger. Never let you forget that. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, that was just bad. Was, make a wall yeah. and hear a bad play. That was uh, that was that was not that was not a big boy play. That that was uh, that was not a big boy play. All right. Well, um, one. <laughs> oh, we didn't start the timer. What's it? Yeah. Everybody's in here. Somebody, somebody, give us the time. We'll add two minutes to it or something. We'll figure it out. This is definitely going to time of some kind. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is game one, so we really, yeah. we really need the time. Yeah, our game one went four rounds and or five rounds. Game two went three rounds. Or three turns, I mean. <laughs> so, it, what? It, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was really confusing. <laughs> the first match was, yeah, it was a really complicated board state. Okay, did you see the score? Yes. Okay, this is what it was. Turn one. Cookbook, twenty-six minutes. Make a food. Turn two, squirrel, pitch, make a food. And then, uh, Asmorana. Yeah. Get another cookbook. Next turn, feasting troll king, bone shards, pitch feasting troll king, make a food, sacred foods, troll king, four four. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, the squirrel was a, a thing and that I, I had not. I passed turn and goes, <laughs> yeah. Vizier. Yeah. Mana mana. Combo. Does <laughs> watch. Mana 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 mana. mana, mana. Yeah. All right. So Carmel has Bolt in hand. Ooh. Which, which is, is a card, card that he needs to draw a lot of if he has yeah. wants to have a chance he needs, here. He needs, a whole he needs Matt to miss more triggers. triggers. Yeah. Fury. This is turn one. Does, does Fury yeah. Fury hits yeah. face yeah. right? No, it hits Walkers. Okay, but he, he does gain a life, so that's uh. Not preemptively put yeah. the back claw into the main board? No, 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 no he's, he's got carnage stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's, uh, Dang, yeah we, uh, we added... <laughs> Zach, we added the, uh, the squirrel, the ravenous squirrel to Tommy's food deck. Because it's a fucking hungry squirrel. Did you get there, Tommy? <laughs> no. no. I bought... It took us seven turns to play three games, or two games. What combo! Were you huh? What were you playing? Combo. combo. Supposed to do a combo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty turns. effective combo. Uh, no one can say it's turns. not. <laughs> right? So... Yeah, I don't see why Carmel is going still, because... Uh, well, because he, he's a he's a red player, and <laughs> as long as he has lands... he Actually, he can... I mean, he can still win this game through bolts, right? I mean... Sandbag your not with losing a land every turn. Well, if you can draw, if turn. you can sandbag your bolts, draw, draw, like, like keep your lands and wait until you can play the land and then hit them with a the burn spell. Yeah, I mean you got to play, play your routes. routes. No, I know, and he, he we've known Carmel to do. The, the problem is his bolts are shocks right now. Yeah, exactly. That's that's and, unless unless uh, Matt needs, continues to miss more triggers with he that, needs uh, his board ball that's keeping him alive. That's what he needs real bad is his board. He needs what's in the sideboard. Sideboard. He'll probably mop this up pretty effectively. But right now, yeah, Matt got there, locked him out. There's not a whole lot going on. There's not a, lot, a whole lot he can do at all. <laughs> he's pretty He's pretty stuck. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's go to hands. Yeah. That was uh, riveting. Riveting. Uh, I, riveting. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, know you know what? what? Um, I'm, I'm glad, glad I put, I put, put this... this is our, our round one matchup because it's proven that it's probably going to be a pretty good match. Yeah, it's going uh, to. I thought that Matt might just get run over, and, and he did not. I stand corrected. That was a very good show. Good God, he had like four pirate spell bombs on his sideboard. Hey, Jesus, 
Um, this is a man who's sick of losing to... The Aura Champion and the other thingy? Yeah, yeah. The, other, the, other the other thingy specifically. specifically. Yeah, everybody's everybody playing that fucking yeah. card, especially no, I, in this I get it. I get it. I yeah, feel like... This is the guy that's sick of... Yeah, I feel like you could do which, a split uh, of a couple spell bombs and, like, I don't know, the, the one thing, which, uh, the sweeper. Which, uh, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb Dudek, if you're listening, the, uh, the snow deck that we're, that we're working on... Uh, definitely, definitely needs Kozlik's return for yeah. that reason, oh, yeah. and Kozlik's return just like blow up those those fuckers and yeah. draw two cards sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah, Kozlik's return has gotten a yeah. A I'm, lot, I'm talking a about the snow, snow swans. We got some chatters. We got some chatters. We got Zach and Micah. I think the squirrel is a sleeper. I think as soon as I saw that spoil that card spoiled in Horizons two. That's a card that's going to do some shit over time. Hey, hey, hey Zach, how are you chatting but not playing, bro? Come on. <laughs> bro. Come on, bro. Uh, Isaiah Morales isn't here. You got no excuse. <laughs> I did too, except I'm more of a jank. <laughs> oh, the jank is real. Jank. All right. So... Looks like Carmel's still deciding. Let's see what Carmel decides. Matt was pretty, pretty decided fairly quickly here. So. Well, yeah. Got a wish board. yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. You don't really have to do a whole lot. And uh, looks like relics out. And oh, flame blitz. Yeah, flame blitz. I like that. That's good shit. That's real good shit. I love that card. I don't, I don't know, know what, what that is. is. That's the one mana enchantment from MH2 that says at end step, all walkers take five. How come every time I say, I don't know what that is, you say, that's the X from MH2. Yeah, you know. Good cards. I clearly don't give a fuck about MH2. I probably should because it seems like all the cards are playable. It, cha it completely changed the format. Like, yeah, MH2 yeah. is one of the most important things to happen in Magic in general. It's like, well, let's just, like, you know, Modern Horizons was a little overpowered. Powered, everything got banned. So let's do it again. But this time, let's make the uncommons the best cards ever printed. Well, you see, I think, like, Modern Horizons 1 had really powerful bannable cards. But, like, overall, the set wasn't as balanced, like, powerful in a balanced way. And MH2 is all powerful, but all very fair and just good. Since MH1? Yeah. See, Modern Horizons 1, I don't think, was all that important. You're not watching Star Wars. You're watching Take Action stream. It must, it must be, be like, like one of the prequels. prequels. <laughs> you got yeah, Hayden Christensen, Christensen droning on in the back and God, it's fucking dreadful. That guy is so bad. He's just a whiny ass bitch. Every once in a while, I'll talk shit about that guy and people try to defend him, and yeah. I just shake my head and like, you, you can't, you can't defend him. Like, yeah. I don't even know how he landed that role. Like, he, he did, he, yeah, he did a movie no. called Life Is a House, which, which is, is the best. best. It's, it's a, a decent, decent movie. movie. Um, it's, it's the, the best, best that he could, could possibly do. Right. And it was, it was, uh, basically, basically he played a whiny bitch. bitch. Okay, well, but, there you go. But, yeah. but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, he, he wasn't, wasn't as much of a whiny, whiny bitch as he was in Star Wars. Wars. It, yeah. He actually acted. Yeah, well, and no, what's, what's the problem with Like, because I don't, I don't think his character, I don't think that, like, he was reading for the part that's like, yeah, we want you to act like a whiny bitch. Oh, no, no, no. No, the problem is, uh, the one, if there's one thing we know, that uh, Darth Vader started out as a whiny bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's the biggest problem. Like, how can how are the producers of that film okay with that performance? He's the guy that's behind the mask, one of the most menacing yeah. villains in history, and he's a fucking bitch. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I you, know, you know what I blame? I, I blame uh, George Lucas. I think he's just, like, an arrogant prick. So and he made out. Star Wars and it was so successful he made it with a bunch of nobodies who became stars. Right. And so he just wanted to do that from then on out. Like, yeah. Like, why would I... Like, I know everybody... It worked once. It has to work every, again. Everybody, everybody on the planet wants to be in these movies, but no. Give me that guy that I saw at Starbucks. I can make him a star. From Starbucks to Star Wars. Hayden Christensen. All right, we have some mulliganing. I think Carmel's down a few cards. No, it looks like he's uh, back to magic. Yeah. Oh, fair. This card, uh, this card's good. It always comes in untapped, and Carmel's stuck. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to seem that way.
All right. Not a high progressive start, but the Obosh is not really high progressive. It's it's lining stuff up. I do appreciate that Carmel likes to play the mono red decks that are like that take a bit of finagling. You know. Yeah. yeah I appreciate that. I'd, I'd like, like to see him come, come in and, and like, like rock some like, like Esper control, control or something. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Prove to me that you're not a Wes Williams and one trick <laughs> pony. What are they, by the way, is he dead? Is no, 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 no. We, we, we talked about this last week. He's a, he's a, a UPS man. Like, and he works. He's just busy. He, yeah, he doesn't have time for magic anymore. Like, he's, he's, uh, he's wearing the brown shorts. Brown shorts. Yeah, yeah, brown shorts. Yeah, man. yeah cause, cause I, I did a whole bit about how if you know Wes Williamson, if there was ever a guy who was born to wear the brown, it's Wes. Like, he looks like a UPS man. Just like, you just, first time I met him, I'm like, this guy looks like my UPS guy. He can tell you who delivered your package. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, that's pretty, I mean, that's, it's, it's like uh, literally the worst conversation you'll ever have. But he'll tell you all about it. I know who did that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And he's like, like, is it sad that I can tell you? you do? No, it's just boring. It's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not sad. It's, it's just not boring. sad. It's just I'm bored. bored. <laughs> it's kind of expected, which makes it more boring. I, see, I, see, I, I like, like this play, play. Carmel, he, he, realizing that uh, I'm just going to get, get, get the beef on because I didn't see a lot of great removal. removal. Yeah, exactly. So let's get the beef on and try to like yeah. damage his life total before he, before the bridge comes down. Another another great uh, kick towards the value of that card, Bone Crusher, is a house for these situations. He says, I'm not, I'm not going under that bridge, I'm going over it. Yeah. Uh, which it, it flavor win? It's a giant. Makes sense, obviously. So. <laughs> I fucking love Bone Crusher. Such a good card. Such a good card. Uh, Karn probably for Matt. We got four mana. He, he says, says uh, "I want, I want your, your land." land. No, he can't target land. Yeah. No, he can't. Yeah. So, so he, he just, just plays, plays a two one for two. two. Yeah, that's bad. Has flying. It does. He's so, lo he's losing this race by a lot. <laughs> oh, that blast zone is going to be good for Carmel. You know, yeah, I said something about Carmel. Lava Dart, and I did not actually see Lava Dart. No, I don't think he has Lava Dart. He's playing. This he's playing this instead. instead. Which I like. I like that card actually. Uh, I, just I just like that he's, he's off a of Lava Dart, Dart because well, he's, he's not playing a prowess deck. deck. So, yeah, Lava Dart yeah, goes in prowess decks and combo decks. That's that's, that's, that's the, the difference. difference. Yep. Beat down the giant. Which I think if Carmel like, like he's, Will he's, Breaker, he's, he's I don't know exactly. Carmel's gonna show up with mono red prowess and the right, just yeah. fucking wreck everybody. <laughs> you heard it here first. Alright, what's Matt got now? Okay, I'm right. Alright, so, so he qualified tonight. I, so. <laughs> I mean, you're playing that thing. Pretty good chance. All right, so he's got Nobody Sahili, Liquid Metal, Karn, Karn. So he's got stuff. Man, these, these cards, cards don't, don't look, look good. good. Not at the moment. I mean, he's got a lot of clunk in hand with all yeah. these doubles. Um, I don't. He just needs like a down kick. It, it's, it's a lot like last game, except I don't see any way, way where he gets his hand empty. Before no, he's so dead. he's got to he's got to go for a different route. He's got to like yeah, go get. I would go grab probably. Well, right now to be efficient, if he has a one drop that matter, that's not what. What, I what would is this? What is this? <sighs> oh yeah, he has a combo piece in hand, so he can get there. So, so what's, what's the combo? The combo? I, uh, it's alter the, the brood, uh, and Sahili. Yeah, is yeah, it just combo? Just those two so cards? Yeah. Li liquid metal does, oh, but the other oh, liquid metal does not target lands. The, the one that's in play does not target lands. No, so. he, it doesn't target the lands. It targets the Sahili to make a copy. Which is of which is why it's not really a very good card. Make a copy of itself. That's, does, does it draw a card or something when it comes? So in? I don't know why he didn't. I guess he has enough to. No, he doesn't have enough to do it. I'm wondering. I guess he's afraid of artist. Well, he's got the blast zone on one, so I guess he can't just jam. Well, he has to get the, the torque. The torque, yeah. 
should do, yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's already got that. He can play so, yeah, so he's gonna combo in. He's gonna combo in next turn. Let's so, so what's what's the combo? You make you turn Sahili into an artifact, and you make a copy of Sahili. Okay. And then you keep doing that, and you mill with a little dorky rock thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's infinite mill. Which he will, okay. without interruption from... Now, if Carmel ta- if he leaves his mana up, then it won't matter. Carmel can make him... Like, he can stop this combo right now indefinitely if he doesn't tap out. I don't know if Carmel's familiar up Chris nice with this deck at all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he has this thing on lock right now if he doesn't play any cards. Yeah. Join, joining us yeah. in the booth is top three nice guy, Chris Nice. Oh, hey. And uh, now, his uh, recent so loss of manhood. <laughs> uh, swollen sack and all. He was able to there, make it back here. <laughs> well, unfortunately... You got a fan. It's a little warm in here. Matt is going to win this turn. And Carmel could have... Car- Carmel doesn't even know, I don't think. No, he doesn't know. But does he have two bolts? That'd be funny. Yeah, the problem is Matt's just going to do the thing. He just wins. Let's see if, I mean, see if, if Carmel he, has the bird. If Carmel has two bolts, that's the only way. Uh, bone Crusher. Uh, no, no. Carmel's going to die. No, yeah. Carmel loses. All right. So there's the combo piece. And now Sahili just wins. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, he has one. He, he can he can kill Sahili. He, he can kill Sahili. So he is not dead. He, that, he actually has the burn that stops the combo. What does it come in on? It comes in on three. It'll minus two. And in oh, response okay. to that, well, he's going to make a copy of itself, though. So that yeah. doesn't even work. Yeah. Fuck. Well, he, well, no, no, he can. He can because it's going to target. And... Does it say, does it say make a copy of target? Yes. So... He's going to target Sahili, and it's not going to be there. So the ability is going to fizzle. He, right. He's totally going to fizzle it. this. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. Boom. No, no combo. combo. No combo for you. And match goops it up. Is he doing copy yet? No, it's a infinite yeah. mill. And he, he just oh, dies to the giant on the way back. back. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Car- on yeah. No, no combo. Video. Carmel had it the whole time. Yeah, exactly. He knew what was up. Like that's, that's, that's the deal. That's what he needs. Uh, bolts, bone crushers, the one mana the, the, thingy. The, spe- the spell one that does one damage. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no lava darts. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's got the right tools, yeah, and he's smart, smart enough, enough to know that he, you know, like you don't let yourself get Splinter Twin. You know, if you tap out against Splinter Twin, you're you're dead. So how does Obosh read? Obosh, um. This says things do damage. It, double damage, right? Yeah, it's it's double. Is it double, double or plus two? two. Uh, no, I think it's double the source. Is it only the... Because the, the companion yeah. thing is odd spells. Double red. It's, it's only red things. So, or is it odd mana things? No, it's odd. It's odd things. Last Carmel I think it's with odd mana costs, too. Do double? Yeah, let's fuck it out. The source you control with odd converted mana cost okay. deals damage to so a permanent player. It deals double that so damage. Doesn't, okay. yeah, but everything will be odd. Oh, yeah. Everything is odd there. I was last. He has a mono red Punisher deck as well where he has Torbrain. And uh, he tried an extra card last week to have an additional extra damage effect in that deck. And I just wondered if Obosh would have just worked for that in the main. But it wouldn't have because the deck had a lot of even mana cost yeah. things. So. Yeah. I, I like the way he cheats on... Because uh, the problem with this is creating two drops because decks without two drops are bad. But yeah. he's able to get creative here. He's got the four copies of. Uh, yeah, the Ragavan is technically a two drop or it can be a two drop. And then he's got the four giants. So. The giants so good. John really likes the giants. I do. Everything in the adventure, the adventure mechanic was just one of the best things Magic's done in the entire game. It's amazing. It's fucking awesome. And they actually like. Got it on the nose in one set. A lot of sets, they fuck up mechanics, they water them down too much, or they break them. Like, Adventure was on the fucking nose. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll hear it later, and I'll just have to remember that this is when I was doing the thing. Like, right now, Dustin, listening to this back. 
You're, You're doing, doing the thing. thing. Does, Does it, it sound better? better? <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> All right. Here's the saga. It's a turn one. With nothing to play off of it. That's not what you want. Yeah, I see you're the thing. Oh, man, you need that. You can't play that as a land. You need that to save you from dying. All right. My favorite spell land for the record is Valakut's Awakening. That card's oh, the it's shit. Great. It's great. I do like the... Uh, it might be the best red card ever printed. I like the X spell. The, the yeah, the scatter, yeah, shatter skulls, shatter skull sma thingy, yeah. smattering or smashing. I, like I think all the the mythic ones are all. Just that, that definitely needs, needs to be in the the, uh, swan, the swan stack. I just added the white one to goats, which maybe we'll see later on camera if Patrick plays the goats. But I added a couple to the goats of the white one, and that'll be that'll be pretty sweet. We're working on a uh, snow swans. Uh, might be making an appearance from some pilot. I don't know. Sometime. Yeah. What I'm fucking excited about, thanks to Innistrad, is my night deck coming back with the fucking vengeance, and it's going to be amazing because I finally got the cards I need. It's going to be sweet. Oh. Ah, you can't, can't figure it out. <laughs> Foil. <Full> Order. Order. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you did. You did. You got me over here yelling into the mic. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah. Mm. How much is this thing anymore? Anyway? I figured you'd figure it out when you have time. Yeah, yeah. You just want to store credit for your own cash? Sure. I don't care either way. Okay. Cool. So, uh, Carmel playing all of the things that as lands that, well, they <laughs> disrupt the combo, which he's going to yeah. need those later. Yeah. Possibly. And Matt was just out there saying that he uh, doesn't feel that he's been playing well, so I came back and checked that out. Um, <laughs> he has. I like seeing, seeing bad, bad players. players. Let's no, do I it. Just, <laughs> I just don't believe him. No, well, game game one he played a little <laughs> sloppy. Game two wasn't bad. Yeah, game two he, wasn't bad. He, he, had he had problems scouting to two right there. And uh, this is this is the John Brown effect here, where uh, he's got the mana rock, but he's down a land. Yeah. Yeah, there is a saga putting you down land is a real thing, man. It's it's Is that it's, uh it's awkward. Super awkward. Is that not quite liquid metal coating thing that taps for mana? Is it a two drop? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's solid. It's yeah. It's, it makes this I mean, deck two, much two more mana, viable. Two mana ramp has always been pretty It's decent. very rare. Yeah. I mean they don't print it very often. Yeah. And yeah. To put Especially back useful on when it, he's like playing like lands that sack, sack themselves. Yeah. Yeah. He should, he should probably stop, stop that shit. shit. Yeah, I don't well, he's because he's the saga is important because the combo thing. But I feel like you could just have it. Oh, here's another one. And not put yourself down. Yeah, lands. yeah. He, and he has it in the board too. We saw him do it earlier. Yeah. That, so Matt, my suggestion: oh. take the sagas out of your deck. Uh, I thought that was three cards. Because <laughs> you can just no, you can just no. Get it out of your oh, wish we would we would not allow that. that. Okay. That's, That's exactly, exactly what, what it should have been. been. I prefer to count the artifacts, but you know. Um. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, I, if I, if it's me, I couldn't help myself. I'd be taking out that fucking steam vents right now. I would hit the land. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh man, I wouldn't be able to help myself. You got one land that's gonna sack itself. Get rid of the steam vents. Now he's like, he can get Soggy out of Wishboard, but he 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 has one of the fucking mill artifact thingies in his sideboard, so he could just get that. He doesn't have to have the Saga in the main because Urza can just wish for the combo piece out of his sideboard. And then, I don't know. I'm just not a huge. I'm not a huge fan of Urza Saga. Is this, a, is this a Blood Moon coming? I don't. I think it works well in certain decks. I don't think it works well in. Yeah. Decks. They do. They do. Like it's super good in like the food deck. Yeah. Um, it's super good. It's it's good in decks where you don't have to have mana. Yeah, any like any I. Yeah. I'm just. I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I think that Matt plays this card better than anyone. I think that I think that every time I've seen him play the saga, he gets the best use out of it. Um, he, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't know. Play, I don't know so. if I would say that. I, if for you're this talking game. about you, I've never seen yeah. him play. Yeah, that's correct. I don't know. I, I, I respect the shit out of Matt as an artifact player, but I just feel like with what he's doing, I just don't think he needs it. I just don't think he needs it. I mean, it it's even I, a lot of removal right it, now. Th th like, these are two for ones. Yeah. 
I mean, he's getting the dude, and the land yeah. replaces itself, and well, he's just, eating a burn spell true. out of that's karma. I mean, these are two for I can't, ones. I cannot argue. Evil, what's that for? Probably naming the the dragon land. I would I have to. I think Urza Saga is going to be one of those timeless tracker things for me, where like it performs great for everyone but me. And every time I play it, it's dog shit. So they're just like, fuck this card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I would. I, I, I don't, have a list of. Those. I don't know what it's naming. I, I have to say, it's it's the the most common. Names here would either be that Dragonland or uh, uh, Pyromancer. Season Pyromancer. You guys trying to add Twitch points so I can make you guys say nice things about bad decks? I don't know what the hell Twitch points Twitch are. Twitch points is if you stay in chat long enough, you get points to like highlight messages or shit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I don't know, know what anything about this. We're, that, we're a bunch of old men. That, <laughs> we don't know yeah, any of uh, this shit. Uh, we barely put this together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that's, like, that sounds like something we're not going to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. 500. <laughs> Peace and wisely. Yeah, it really sounds like something we're not going to do. <laughs> but we really appreciate you listening in. So that has two cards in hand, right? Yeah, it looks like. Let's see if we can get a better. That's not great. It's like a cervical extraction. I think he has three cards. We'll find out. Is that that much better? He's getting free cards out of his deck every turn, it seems. What's that, like that. what's that card Carmel just paid that looks like Surgical Extraction but red? This is the hammer. The hammer. Yeah, hammer. You should, you should old play... Card. Uh, old card. That's a good I didn't even card. know it was a modern legal card. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've only played it in uh, our classic it's queue. It's a three man take three action man classic queue. It's very like... I'm going to tell you the card, and it's going to sound real shitty, <laughs> but the card was made in 1995 or something like yeah. that, so uh, you yeah, got to have the context, yeah. <laughs> but it's three mana for three damage, sorcery speed, awful, I'm getting you know. excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I was going to say great. For awesome. five mana, on your, on your upkeep. Only on your upkeep. You can put it back in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. Think of the value in that. Yeah. yeah. I was supposed to get aroused in the first day. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, I was like, we'll, we'll always be nice to the card, the decks that you play, man. Because you, you, we appreciate the oh, people yeah. doing things that are interesting, but we just want to make sure you do the interesting things well. And that's why we're here yeah. to help you do the. Oh interesting no, things no, well. I, I'm, I'm just. Uh, I need to. I need to caveat this. Uh, John does not speak for if you if you show up with some shit that needs to be put down I'll put it down I, I'm telling you like like uh, I'm not always gonna candy coat it I'm gonna give you what you need man again we're, we're you a bunch of we're if you old men, if you so. if you show up with some jank that like Doesn't probably should have stayed in the trade binder I'll let you know <laughs> I'll be it's like good cop bad cop I'll be the guy that tries to help you salvage like, something out of the jank yeah. Yeah. Like that, like that, uh, like that twenty-seven drop that you can only cast while you're fetching or whatever. I've yet to see that. I, I've never seen it cast in my life, and until I do, it should probably just stay in the tray binder. I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's why it's. Yeah, he tapped. He tapped out on his. If, if they turn return then, to that mechanic, that mechanic could be. Oh yeah, that'd be really good. But the mechanic being on a big derpy worm is like kind of whatever. Like an eight mana on turns. You're on turns. Alright, you let him know. Ah. I don't know how long. You're on is. turns. Seems kind of just like a dead bird's day right now. That's yeah! Seems like a draw to me. Burn, basically, and well, game up. one was a lock. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, oh. yeah, game one, he got to. He got to like five, and then got Karn on board. Went and got yeah, the uh, I don't Dragon know Claw know. from the uh, sideboard, yeah, yeah. and like I don't know started Carmel blowing up lands been, every turn. I don't and know if he could have been more aggressive. Maybe he could have been. He actually missed a trigger with that Dragon's Claw that could have yeah. been like he was on shaky ground there. I'm gonna Matt, you missed that trigger. Like I like. I don't know if I've said that enough times, but you totally missed that trigger and in a previous stream. I wouldn't mind playing against Carmel. I don't, I don't want to play against that fucking thing. Yeah. Thankfully. Anything that blows up your lands with a four mana planeswalker. I love those things. Meh. Yeah. I've got all these options at my fingertips. I've got goats. Goats, man. Truly an array. Got to play the goats. I'm excited to see the changes you made. If, uh, it feels really If you don't good. want it, I'll just give it to somebody else. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. So I could play two decks, so I wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a giant, like, corner. I don't know if you guys saw it, but 
I don't know if Matt's played it yet, but he did try something new with shenanigans in this deck. Oh, okay. So okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Artifacts and keep blowing them up. Yeah, yeah. Here. No, shenanigans makes a lot of sense in the deck. The that's sweet. Deck. I forgot yeah. that was yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, that's I cool. asked him what this, what, what he was playing this week, and he Hopefully said Sahili Rai shenanigans. Because that actually, uh, that's just really powerful. Really cool. uh, yeah, if he had, like, that's really powerful. Like, actually, if we would have just seen shenanigans any of these games, <laughs> yeah. he could have just fucked Carmel up the entire time. So, he needs more shenanigans, apparently. <laughs> yeah. What does that have to have been the land on the border? This, uh... This game, barring a concession, is going to be a draw. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. If Matt had... I, yeah. If he had shenanigans, he needs more shenanigans in his deck because that would have just been <laughs> This entire time. This, this is just the most ridiculous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he more needs shenanigans. more shenanigans. <laughs> What's the same shenanigans? What's the Two. Yeah. It's only two. Yeah. And it dredges. Like, for one... So, like, yeah, you just keep it going. Yeah, I don't want to put you in these. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, that both, actually, that's, I like that. Play. That's cool. Please. I like the soundproofing, though. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Hopefully. We've got more to do. I just love the, the, space, the configuration's awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to upgrade it. I'm going to get better seating in here. He's saying that we're going to have four monitors. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That might happen. We're, we're going to be like a, we're, yeah, we're going to be like a fucking technical assault unit in here. <laughs> hey, man, when I do stuff, I, uh, I take it serious. He's taking fucking shots. He's going to have like VR glasses, yeah. swiping his hands and stuff. <laughs> yeah. like, what's he doing? We're going to have people with like FBI like vests out there, like making sure you're using the right tokens and shit. Right. Like, they're going to have the little wires yeah. and, and the hats and All right, so this shades turns three. indoors. Uh, It'll Matt's probably just be Josh Brooks. Damage. Holy shit! Will he pull it out? I don't. I mean, I don't think that I mean, he can. He's getting, he's getting big dudes on the battlefield, but he's only got one more turn. So he's getting close. Yeah. I'm just glad I have pillage in the main. He's equipping. Uh, he, he needs more artifacts. Well, he's got a Sahili. Okay. Yeah, actually, you know what? That could do it. If Carmel uh, doesn't have anything it, it, to play, that'll do it. Sahili gives the thing haste, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. he can he make, can a, make copy a copy of yeah. the thing. So if Carmel doesn't have anything to play, yeah. he can do it. That would that would be the shit. That'd be a clutch clutch thing. And he's got an braid too, so yeah, he can clear the way. Yeah, he's set up. I don't what does Carmel have? I don't think Carmel can get out of this. You got the flame oh. If he if he double flame spells here. How much? How many lands does Carmel have in play? He has uh, enough. And so he can Obosh plus. He's got a flame slash too. Yeah, he can Obosh plus plus flame slash to get rid of one that's of these what he dudes. Needs to do. If he does that, if, if that's his exact play, then it's a draw. Yeah. Cycle that. Cause what did he nothing. cycle? The flame blitz. It's, blitz, okay. Yeah, and that's what's great about the card is it has cycling. Three damage deal thingy. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I mean, dude, that that's one? so bad. <laughs> but goddamn, he gets all the points for me. Yeah. Like he plays shit that I'm that's the awesome. only one that knows what it yeah. is, and yeah. I'm like, fucking awesome, Carmel. <laughs> I think yeah, I think you are gonna see the Obosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's the line. Is Obosh kill one of those things? Yeah. That that keeps the integrity of the. I mean, Obosh just kind of. Foils the whole plan anyway. Yeah. Well, Matt has an abrade in hand, so he can he can get rid of whatever he puts down. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, true, true. So he just needs to get the shit off the table. Oh, so he can actually respond to the flame slash with that. Uh, that coding yeah. thing. Yeah. So it, yeah, it, it, if if he yeah. if he uh, if he well, flame if he slash did, is a sorcery anyway, so he has to do it now. Right. Yeah. yeah but yeah. what I'm saying is, I was thinking that was his only play, but oh, right. but that that actually does not work. If yeah. that if he goes for that, that won't work. Right. Because it'll only do four damage unless he's got another burn spell that I'm not seeing. And that's what he's thinking about right now. I mean. What's the best way to play this to not die? Okay, he's going to start with a one drop. Start by flame slashing what? that. Okay. So he's uh, not planning on playing the Obosh here. He's... Double flame uh, uh, going to stomp it. Okay. Well, that should kill it. I mean, that does it. The Obosh would have been cleaner. 
But yeah, I mean that does it. Now Matt it. cannot win. He's gonna cast it, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Matt's gonna fetch. He's gonna turn the thing into an artifact. He's gonna kill it, take two damage, and then not win because he can't do enough damage. And that's a wrap. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we will see. We will see. I, th I think we're going to see him at least kill the giant now. Oh, yeah, the giant's dead. And for so sure. what he needs is a way to cop, like, play the Sahili and then get a couple extra artifacts yeah. on the board. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what he could draw. But, yeah. I mean, if he could make more artifacts, but he, that's the thing. He has the Skydiver thingy in hand, your brain. So. Yeah, he abraded it. So it all depends what he draws, but I mean, he has to play like two artifacts for that to matter, and he's got another. Well, that's not good enough. So, nope. Two, four. That's it. All right, that wraps that up. Hmm. All right. So. Well, we lied. In the flavor forward interaction. And they're off. All right. So Chris is on some Ponza stuff, and Mike is on some Hardened Scales stuff. This and, is, uh, so this is going to be, it's going to be, I think, hand-dependent. No, I, th I think this is a, a decent matchup for Ponza. He's got removal, and he's got artifact destruction. Yeah. And land destruction, both of which, uh, Hardened Scales, the lands and the artifacts are pretty important. Uh, yeah. uh, the What's the, the Modern Horizons uh, 1 reprint? Uh, Pillage. Pillage. Pillage Pillage is going to be a huge card here. Yeah. And, I mean, that... It depends if he sees it. That's the thing. There's always variance in the game, so... You, it, you could go and just not see the cards you need to see. Uh, you might want to leave that from the stream. You have a couple of dudes over here. What, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. What just happened? <laughs> now you're going to have to say to get on stream. Oh. Nice. I'm giving you each a game loss. <laughs> That's not true. We're not doing that. A stern talking to after the fact. That's what you'll get. Just fucking. Uh, we need rocking chairs so in here, man. Old man mode. Micah's hand is terrible. Uh, no lands? No lands. Uh, pitch that, Micah. He's thinking about it. <laughs> is it no lands, no lands, or it, like one land? Because one land's like a. It different it matter. It looks like no lands. No, there's a land right there. Oh. Tell him a garden. So one land? This is a bad hand. He's keeping it. God, this is going to be a fucking Ooh, bloodbath. He's putting the Ozolith down. Let's see what he... I don't know, man. So he's... he's I mean, Tokyo I guess... Scroll. I guess oh. he can cast his X spells for free once he casts Let's his Harden Scales. Oh, there's Chris. Oh, man. He's got no good turn three. Turn two. That sucks. Nope. Yeah. And Harden Scales down. Well, he can always draw one. Okay. I don't think he did. But he's going to have a good turn next turn. Yeah, no, he has a very good turn next turn. He's got Blood Braid and uh, see, hopefully see, a Pillage. stuck in this spot where this is, the, this is the best he can do. I don't know. Zabaz. It's a, it's a thing that interacts with Modular that um, puts extra counters on things that die if they have Modular. Something like that. It's weird wording because it's hard and scales. Did you see... Uh, uh, I do not Micah on me. Well, actually, you know what? If, well, that depends if Dustin Holler can give me a ride back to the house. I might have I, two wall omens. I can probably do that. Okay. All right, Mega. I uh, got two wall uh, omens. Also, player. Chris Priest is in the house, and he might. Yeah. He was playing it for a time. And I think yeah, if you just not. need a wall of omens, um, I got you. We can probably hook you up. Yeah. Wall of omens, we're, we're good. All right. So, four lands on Chris's side. He's going to blow something up here somehow. Maybe get that Chandra down. Chandra killing the Zabaz seems like the play I would make. I wouldn't I wouldn't chance the Blood Braid. Although I feel like Chris might chance the Blood Braid. Because I actually kinda like the Blood Braid. I don't, because it's gonna hit a Utopia Sprawl, man. Like, yeah, yeah. That's but, but, that's but, but, what but I don't I mean, like you know about what, it. You know what? It might hit land destruction and just blow this game open. Yeah, it, that's and, fine, and, but and he and could he's, just... He's got a clunky hand. Utopia Sprawl's not the worst He here. could just Chandra. Little, little, oh, little, 
He's going to shot her. I, I, I think that's the right play. Man, I don't, I don't I, trust Bloodbraid, man. Yeah, not in, not in. I don't like Bloodbraid and Ponza at all. The problem is the Chandra's going to die. That's fine. Uh, not, not for a turn. No, no, it it's going to die right here. Why? Because he's got uh, walking ballista. No, he's not. <laughs> okay. He could still play walking ballista and kill the Chandra right now. He could. He's not. Wow, that's just terrible, Mike. Micah, you fucked that up, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Now the when you're Bloodbraid. watching this back, no, that. You could have just killed the Chandra, and I don't think this this is a card you keep alive. Yeah, no, Zabaz. All right, so Chandra plus. Is he making mana, or is he um, flipping a card? It looks like he's making mana. Oh, it does look like he's making mana. What is he playing? A five drop. Oh yes. Oh. Okay. okay. There uh, we go. Glorybringer, Ender of Games. Yep. Thwack. One of the, one the of the best limited cards ever printed. So you know what I really love about Almond Cat. The dragons look like alligators, and that's fucking yeah, awesome. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's one of the best like, flavorful like a, things in the game. It's, like, love, it's like a crocodile with pig ears. It's yeah. really fucking Dude, weird looking. I love alligator dragons. Give me all the alligator dragons. Yeah, okay, so he can. So now he can still kill the Chandra, but it's going to cost him. Okay, he can do this thing. Yeah, goddamn, the Oslip is gross. He so he can both. kill everything? Oh, no, he can't kill everything. He can kill Chandra. All right, Chris. Now is the time for Blood Braid, probably. Ooh, Bolt. What? Yeah. Uh, Mop up that Ballista bolts, first. Bolt's pretty good here. Mop up the Ballista first. Do it, Chris. Mop up Ballista. Well, he's got four mana. What else can he play? He can play Blood Braid Elf. Yeah. I would. It'd be nice if yeah, he had I mana. Think I, uh, this is so mana inefficient, but I just think that you can't leave this no, thing No, you, you have to. Yeah. You can't get. you. That has to go. You can't let and another creature hit the battlefield yeah, with the Ozlith on the with battlefield. With Glorybringer coming off, uh, you, you can you, you basically get a double yeah. double kill next turn. So, yeah, should make a post on the Facebooks about us streaming. So Micah just choosing to run this card out that he knows is probably going to die, and I think it really, really is going to die. So now I like running the blood Bird out because if you hit removal, you kill the thing that's in play and don't have to keep your uh, dragon turned sideways. And that's the play. Blood Bird goes into bolt, boom, just like I drew it up. So now he gets to hit for seven, and dragon will be able to the glory Bird will be able to kill something next turn. Looking pretty bad for Micah here. Lethal on board on the side of Ponza. Does Micah have an answer for it? Oh, I see what you mean, Micah. Where, where, I, where I did the action. I did it again. All right, I'm fixing this right now. I don't apologize, though. Okay, so it's no longer lethal, but he's not in a good spot. And blood uh, now it's lethal. Now it's now, lethal. Now, dude, now he's very dead. Oh, and it actually hit a real oh, card. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, so that's death. <laughs> uh, let's go to the sideboards. Yep. Shall we? Yeah, let's see some hands. Cause it, oh no, he's still thinking. Oh. He's like, Man, well, he's dead. How do I he's, not die? He's dead. Uh, we'll let him think about it for a minute, but yeah. um, he's gonna soon realize what we already know, which is he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and we will go to the sideboarding. And I would think Chris should have just oodles of stuff for this match. All right. Yep. Yeah. And uh, rar. Yeah, there's like a hundred ways you can do that. And yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Yep. Everybody. Yep. Dead. Dead. All right. Hands. Here we go. All right, so I'll look at Chris. Chris has got anger. Seems. What do you think about anger? Anger probably not good enough. By force, that's good. Uh, anger, I would probably. It's probably not good enough, but like if you've got 
I think it's fine. Like it'll uh, probably well, do he's something. He's got cinder vines. Probably artifact destruction yeah. is just better. Well, he's got by force and bring in the by force too, Chris. Bring in the by force too. Why wouldn't you bring that in? It's just an X blow up artifact. I, I actually like the Magus. Yes, by force. By Chris. Bye. Bye. Yep. yep. There you go. Okay. okay. Good. Uh, Magus also does seem all right. Yeah. yeah. Th- these lands Magus have a lot fine. of utility and. Yeah. You think you think that that it's not good because all of his shit is colorless, but it's still you know it's still yeah. Good. A lot of these it's lands have good. utility, and it's just like like I, I wouldn't recommend Blood Moon, but the fact that you've got a two two body attached to it, yeah. like yeah, get that fucking yeah. Blood Moon out of there and trade it for a Magus. The Clothuses are probably a bit slow in the match, so those could go. It looks like he's got two Magus, two Moons main. Yeah, I don't like the two moons. Yeah, I would I would definitely cut the moons. Yeah, the body is huge because the thing doesn't really they have walking blister for removal and that's pretty much it. They're not really removing anything. Did yeah, you see any no. removal come in on Micah's side or uh I, I did not. Uh but to be fair I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so you know. Two screens, two commentators. Come on. Yeah, um <laughs> I don't really use one of the screens. Because it's on a delay, um, I have no excuse, <laughs> and uh, I don't really feel like I need to have one. So, okay, you know, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Did not uh, blood braid into something terrible, which you probably will this game. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to jinx you, but yeah, it gonna, might happen. Gonna, well, I was going to say he's going to blood braid into a, a blood moon, but it looks like he drew all those, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to avoid that disaster. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fucking blood moon. It's just, not. E- it's just not even good. I just here. don't like blood braid in the Ponza deck. I think there's so many. There has to be yeah, better things. I. There just has when you have so many bad things to blood braid into. Why do you want to cascade? I think there are better things you could be doing. Yeah, I, I've I've actually tinkered with Ponza, and the version I was most sad. Eh, granted, this was a while. It was a different meta, but the version I was finally satisfied with did not play. Blood braid. And I don't. It felt I don't like best not yeah, playing blood braid. I don't like blood braid. Come on in. There. Oh shit! Thanks. Better. She's paying you. Huh? <laughs> I bummed her twenty bucks for lunch the other day, yeah. which I honestly didn't give a shit about, and she didn't actually have to do that. But whatever. <laughs> oh, the old arbor elf. Man, that's a disparity in power levels of turn one plays. If I ever fucking saw one. <laughs> Got Pompeii, got official, got sequence. I'll do a sequence. That sounds good. Cool now. My fucking mini fridge from 1977 still holding it down. Yeah. All right, so we got a uh, arc bound so worker. Got sideburns growing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, arc bound worker from Micah Hume, and he's on one land again. Like that's pillage, man. Pillage. Blood Moon. Okay, that's not bad. It's not good. It's not great. Uh, pillage would have been better. I mean, it would have been decent if he would have got it down before the hardened scales, but yeah. now, now, you now he's just dealing with a bunch of colorless things that yeah. are going to kill him. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is probably not going to go well. This now. is already kind of over. Anger it the feels gods over. would be great right now if he would have yeah. brought that in. Yeah, he did not. He didn't. Maybe he will think about it. Because anger actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's, it's not even castable right now. Yeah. No, it's not, but he um, could have played it in a way that it would so have So, Blood Braid? No. Yep, Blood Braid. And it's going to... Oh. Well, I mean... That doesn't do a whole lot. You have to, don't, don't you have to pay into it? You to have to them? pay into it. So. Yeah. That's a little awkward. <sighs> There's a thing. It's good for next turn. Yeah. But if if he's unable to make these things bigger, the, the play you can make is just block. I think, yeah, I think we're going to a game three here. I think Mike is going to mop this up pretty easy based on what we're seeing in hand. He's got Ravager. He's got Arcbound Worker. So, so Modular is when it dies, right? When it dies. Okay, so, yeah. it, like, assuming he can't add anything more to the board. Okay, he's just going to let this happen. Okay, I actually, I actually hate that attack. I don't know why he would have attacked. Yeah, yeah, it, that's yeah. Real bad. I think I think his his best bet Ooh, that's... his best bet was to find a re, like a find a removal spell and 
use that as a blocker to bait. Yeah, no, he we got combined with removal blocker cinder vines. Yeah, you can actually deal with all hey, three you things. You know what? You know what? We should try to sell to Chris. Furies. Fury sounds like it would be good in this deck. Yeah. Like in the sideboard, like that, or even in the main, like that sounds. That well, sounds so good. <laughs> I think he can. He can still get out of it because the center yeah. vines does clear something up. So what he really needs is a, a bolt or something to he's, target the two two, yeah, and then be, he can blow the other thing up. He needs to be patient. He's got a glory bringer, which is not a patient card. Land, land. Ugh, that's just not a good hand. How much does the center vines cost? Uh, well, I did, uh, only one. Only one. I'm pretty right, sure. He's, he's already played his land for turn. Uh, I believe so. No. Okay. No. So he can actually do this. He can. He can glory bringer. Targeting the 2-2, two, two, it'll get sacked and make the 5-5 five, five, and 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. And then he can play the land yep. and sack the cinder vines to, or mm, not. No, did he? I guess we just got it wrong. He must have played he the land. He must not have had a land. Okay. He must not have had a land. Oof, man, this is rough. The only well, thing saving I mean, Chris right now is Mike had kept a shitty one man hand. <laughs> That's the only thing saving him. There's the Ozolith. The Ozolith is actually huge here. Yeah. Well, the Ozolith is crazy. Yeah. yeah. That card's just nuts. But Chris, is it Chris got combat? out of this. No, he could. I think I think he needs to use the Cinder Vines now. Yeah. Let's see if we can see anything new in his hand. Oh, God. I just... Seasoned. Well, I mean, fucking jam it. Uh, yeah. Play it. I, I think Play you got to do that. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta pyromancer it up, for sure. Hopefully, draw. Let's see, let's see what he draws. Yeah, pitch that nonsense. You don't need those. Draw, draw. Be mindful of your head, Chris. You were in here when we bitched about it. Oh God, Blood Moon. I told you. Hey, remember, <laughs> remember me commentating your yeah. sideboarding, saying where that card shouldn't be in your deck. The one that's in play is trash. The one that's in your hand is even worse. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go to game three. But by the way, we've had two players play Blood Moon today, and I've said that sentence twice now. The one in play is trash, and the one in your hand is even worse. Yep. That's that's why Blood Moon is bad. Yeah, the thing that sucks is Micah could just jam. Well, he can't. <laughs> yeah, this this game is only a game because Micah does not have lands. And dismembering. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing that I'm sure came in from board. All right. Well, four and four. I mean, this is. Chris might have this. Thanks to Mikey keeping a one land hand, basically. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean. And there's. Yeah. Well, so I mean, he's still kind of dead can, to a ballista. Yeah. But Micah doesn't have any lands. People are over. Like, People are playing it more than they ought to be playing it because, yeah. like, it doesn't just go in every deck. That's just not the case. I mean, like, all right, we threw threw three players. minutes time extension on here, so this clock is now accurate. All right. No, the only thing I would say I would not invest in right now is uh, uh, the monkey Mishra's bobble. Mishra's bobble. Yeah, yeah. Um, monkey's not going anywhere. 
That's the other thing is uh, Bobble is a big part of the Wars of Dicks. Yeah. yeah, and I like I would Bobble I would say very... Darcy. Darcy is probably the most powerful card, but it becomes a lot less powerful once they ban yeah. Bobble, which I think they will. Yeah, Bobble there's, is there's the most bannable card. That Bobble gets banned. Yeah, well, I'm starting to think Black Green Rock is a very good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Patrick, you, played against, right? two, you played against two Stone Forge. That's, that's true. That's but that's game, but round one, one, he did not see a single Stone Forge. No, All right, so uh, Matt Y is up a game and somehow managed to drain half the clock, <laughs> um, which is actually the one thing that he is best at in Magic <laughs> yeah. is just stealing time. Sure. Like, I mean, he oh, is 25-minute game one, and John probably used like three minutes of that, you know, like... <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we were out there after they were at turn, so the clock wasn't relevant at that point. But Matt made his play, and it seemed like he was thinking about something for like a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, normally, like I just yeah, I, give a, I give him shit because he used to play like KCI. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. If you've ever yeah. played against that deck, it's yeah. like literally like well, I'm just gonna jerk off over here until you're done jerking off, yeah. and let you let me know. Like I heard that there Anytime was. you want to tap out, yeah. just let me know. I heard a story about there was a guy at a GP that brought a coloring book for his opponent because he was playing KCI, and it's just like I'm gonna do my thing, you can color. Yeah. You know, you see shit like that, and you're like, that should be bad. What? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah no. exactly. Well, that that would get somebody punched in the fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing that really sucks about KCI is that as the opponent, you have to be very vigilant and checking them on their plays and making sure they're making yeah. the right amount of mana because you. You just frost over when somebody starts. Oh yeah, you're like, Whatever. yeah, yeah. Think, for sure. I think you're doing it, but they can't really fuck it up. Yeah. 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 You do. You do. It was busted when on on camera at a GP, a guy went off with uh, what's the uh, the split second surgical extraction? Oh yeah. Yeah. He tried a surgical extraction. The the dude from the graveyard, and in response, he went off. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, uh, wait, you're not supposed to be able to do that <laughs> yeah, for a split yeah. second. And you just that's, can that's because it's a mana good. ability. Yeah. You can't. Yep. And mana abilities and triggered abilities get past split second. And it, it just operate on an axis that. What's that card called? Extirpate? Extirpate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Extirpate on the stack. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to kill you. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to yeah. kill you. I don't give a shit about anything you're doing right yeah. now. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Whatever. It's, 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 it, I'm, I'm going to kill you in response, yeah. and it's not going to have a legal target to boot. So back during. Pod Splinter to an era. One of my favorite sideboard cards was. Uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite sideboard cards was. Uh, it's the three mana split second destroying artifact. Oh, Crows of Grip. Yeah. 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 So still a great card. I, 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 see, card. Like, I still debated sideboarding it for like. Uh, I, so I don't. Yeah. I don't think Pod is even that bad because like Pod went away. Not anymore. But you no. still you still have the decks. Like Josh uh, is playing, playing the deck, deck tonight the and it's still my, uh, fucking good. My, my dream you know? my dream scenario is to see like a uh, salt eye control player playing against Tron and Tron to play like Karn the Great Creator and go get Walking Ballista and make a giant Walking Ballista and then when they try to burn their opponent with Walking Ballista Kroos and Grip just kill it after yeah, one counter. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I love Crossing and Grip. That's such a good card. Split yeah, second. I I want well, them to do more of that. Just like it does shit otherwise. Like if you have, like, I feel bad. I mean, Cauldra's great. Like yeah. that's the other thing. But when you're facing down Stoneforge Batter Skull, you, yeah. you can't do anything about that. Yeah. Really. No, the gross like, the gross thing now is they added Cauldra complete yeah, so to yeah, the package. Like you kill one of them. Yeah. And it's like okay, at least that's out yeah. of the way, and then they get the same fucking card. <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah. It's like they play two, but they. You know, All right. spell snare, yeah. man. Not, not a lot going on. Uh, uh, five minutes gone by, and we've seen Matt play two Serum Visions. Yep. Here's the thoughts, Seize. Yeah, I'm thinking against Brian. I have four Inquisitions of Surgical huh. Hey, there's well, the shenanigans. Uh, I see a bunch of red cards uh, from a player who has no red mana. Yeah. Take the These coding. are all bad. Take these the are, coding. These no. are all bad. Yeah. Take, take the, uh, take the, the artifact, because it's the only thing in his hand that he can cast. Yeah. That's a really bad angle. And it enables. Yeah. Don't take the shenanigans. Cards. So it's like Taps for Colorless, right? Mm. Alright. That's it. Uh, yeah, Taps for Colorless. Yeah, I would have taken the... Because he could... I don't know. Bless you. I would have taken the... I guess the, he doesn't lose to anything else with that hand except for Zahili. Well, well the, the liquid... The, the Torque makes his things artifacts yeah. and will let him start using the red spells once he top decks a single red land. Okay. And it puts him up on mana, which makes it him go to Karn faster. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I. Matt's up again, right? Yes. Matt's, Matt's up again. The game that I watched from Matt and his opponent round one, I didn't actually get to see Matt's deck do 
whatever it is. In yeah. Deck yeah. 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 So it does two different things. Um, it has it can lock you out with Karn plus. Uh, uh, what's the, the liquid, the liquid, liquid, liquid metal, yeah. metal coating, which is what which is uh, what happened in game one? In no, no, no it, it, it's banned. banned. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah it, oh, it, that's good. It was they banned. got banned as soon as it's, it's why every deck been... doesn't just play yeah. Karn the Great Creator now. Yeah, that was a fun fucking. Few no, he does a combo. He does an infinite mill combo with uh, Alter the Brood, and then he just does Karn stuff. So blow up your stuff by making it artifacts. Steal your stuff by making it artifacts. Yeah, he, he he has he has a combo what? with uh, Alter of the Brood. Or, no, yeah, he'll he'll make the he healing. Yeah, he's or is a saga. That's his artifact creature base. Tormagoyf. Okay. Can't he just make infinite cats too, right? And no, it, it has the classic. The he plays the uh, the he's flyer that steals artifacts. Yeah, he plays the uh. Is so he, he no no. no it's just blue red. It's blue red. His his combo is infinite mill with Alter of the Brood. It's also like shenanigans. Yeah. Shenanigans is actually good with yeah. all these. Yeah, like Red, Red Man would be huge That's for it. It's the Tarmogoyf deck? It's a. Jones Shadow? Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. On that, I thought about doing that. So as soon as. As soon as Matt top decks a red, like, he'll just murder everything every turn and it won't matter. Well, yeah. He doesn't do a lot right now. And, and also, he can draw the. Uh, so he. Uh, Red mana's good draw for him, and also the the flyer that allows him to steal an artifact. Yeah, a really yeah. good draw. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait and not build that works deck for a while. Yeah, the, on the chance that Bobble gets banned. Bobble is that's pretty fucking bannable. Well, yeah. yeah. well, I, I don't think it's gonna be like right away, but yeah. it's coming. It, it, yeah. it's coming. It's too free in every deck. That yeah, anybody can well, play. Anybody not, can play four copies of it. Either. Not only is it too free, it's too good. Even though most people don't actually get all the axis that cards yeah. operates on, yep. the fact that it has well, yeah. like, multiple axes things, yeah. that people don't actually understand right. and don't even actually play into, and it's just awesome and free yeah, and good. Yeah. Well, like, like that, it just so needs to go. we've that seen this. Darcy we've right seen this re yeah, no, repeatedly close, from Matt yeah. making another construct. Yep. And it, this is just a good this is a good solid two for one. He gets a removal out of his opponent's hand to kill the one that's in play. He's making another one, and he's gonna get to trade his land for another card. Uh, which is gonna make this guy even bigger. Yeah, which I hope I wish there was something It's just not very fun to me at the moment. Have you been noticing that the meta right now in modern is just feeling kind of Wait, really? I think Modern's very healthy right now. I like Maybe Modern a lot. store that I've been playing against. Maybe. Playing against I think we're, you're getting a warped perspective of Modern because if you look online, the yeah. like the percentages of archetypes, wild. They're, they're like 15 to 20 decks right now that are split between like 2%. 1 and 3%. Yeah. Like, Modern is always the most... Keep, keep getting paired against the same people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably what it yeah. Is no, it is, it is yeah. FNM. Well, and the people in the FNM keep bringing the same, same things. Decks, yeah. Because... I think we got a pretty wide diversity here, though. We do, we do have a pretty good diversity, but people have their things. People are the players they are. Oh, yeah. You know, like... So well, I think right like now is I'm trolled out of that or you have the money for the yeah. You don't want to have to buy other shit. Right. That's like, that's well, that's why... That's uh, why uh, here's a little take action plug. I'm going to be trying to have decks to rent from this point on. So I, mean, I like so I like having two to three modern decks, but right. uh, in preparation for you know going to bigger tournaments, right? You've got to get repetitions yeah, with a deck. Like, yeah. you have to know. Oh yeah, back. absolutely. Yeah, you got to just jam it. You run. You run the back. Have you said? No, no, no. I'm not running it back. I'm not running away. Stockpiles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not running it back. That's for fucking sure. You're not gonna play stockpiles. No, I'm, I'll be. I'm choosing between goat stockpile and land destruction. I've got a wider array to choose from here. Stockpile is gonna be I'm fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> Stockpile is gonna be great after like uh, uh, Innistrad. Dude, it funny. feels it feels pretty good right now. I remember goods. Yeah. If it has it changed at all? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not by leagues. It's, not it's an entirely. There's been so many new tools printed yeah. since. Oh, dude, it's so much different. I just remember facing that down with your Warlock champion yeah. on the board, and I'm just like, <laughs> no, it's still four. All right, champions. so Matt's got the red <laughs> mana. Yeah, Matt seems like to be Bobby. turning this around here. John just couldn't get damage in fast that enough. Be fun right now, I think, is uh, the old Hornet's Nest Pyroclasm, like Blasphemous Act. I don't want to play that. Yeah, there's definitely a, a, vision, a version Nest available. Right I sold one. I remember I pulled one like fucking I don't remember years ago. Oh, what is Matt doing? Let's see if we can see his hand. Oh, oh what does he got? Here I could just go back. Does he have an artifact land in play? In no. 
He does not. He doesn't have any artifact lands. Where's the? These both say six, and I count five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it looks. It looks like five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think they're groups of five. Lost to burn and the Stoneforge last. Yeah, now that Matt has five artifacts in play on your side, not six. Now that Matt has red available. Oh, okay. Liquid metal. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Right on, right on. Um, you know that Matt has red, and he's sitting pretty good because now he uh, can how just. How did, how did he? How did he make it an artifact until end of turn? With liquid one of the liquid metal. Or, wait a minute, no. Yeah, the, the torques don't. Do the torques? I don't think they target land. Ask him. I thought that that. Ah, I think land. they just figured it out. <laughs> they just figured it out. Yeah, let's say liquid metal coating is the only card in this deck that would do yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Figured it out. All right. All right. Got there. Good call, Judge. <laughs> You'll never talk back to us again, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you never fucking tell me it was right. Don't you ever tell me. Just as a little plug, I went to a spectacle shop yesterday and got brand new glasses in like 15 minutes. Nice. And nice. It was pretty nice. But I went without for like a month. My, my buddy is a part owner there. Nice. Oh. Jason Rich. Nice. Uh, one of the guys that used to work there, Stinky. Mm. Yeah. Classy name. Well, that was his nickname <laughs> okay. at, the, at the bar. And I just wow, got that's way worse than No, J- Jason yeah. just, he's an optometrist. He he does the eye thingies. He scans and gotcha. shit, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty cool to see. They just make the glasses in-house. The last, like, five times I've seen glasses and stuff, I was in that place for, like, three hours. The place yeah. I go to. It's yeah. It's so fucking busy. I walked out, like, two two times ago. I was just like, All right. right. Uh, so oh, that's a rebuy. Yeah, John's got to put some pressure on here. Um, he's got a Luris, which is going to do him some good for sure. Um, and then he's got I actually kind of like his hand. He's got Luris plus Infernal uh, Heat. Yeah, I don't know what his uh, Delirium situation. Actually, there's no graveyard, right? There's. It doesn't look like it. No. Yeah. Okay. So that's not good. Or is so, there, actually, there must be a graveyard. I think he just has he keeps his graveyard sideways. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. He's one of those. One of them guys. Yeah. All right. So Nurse coming down. We're gonna cast. I think it's a shadow. As shadows a one one. That seems. What sucks is now that Matt has red mana. Maybe he is. Maybe he is exiled. I, I do see. Uh, uh, you see the land destruction on top. Uh, Tormod's Crip on top and uh, oh, right. and yeah. Matt's. Okay, yeah. No, he probably did exile. So, so Matt has six types in his graveyard? Must. Must, yeah. It looks like it. I can't tell from the stack, of course, but... Yeah, that's I don't feel like something. That's something that these guys would muck up that bad. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I obviously don't have a look at his graveyard, so... He, okay. That's right. So, definitely does feel. Well, he does have the seat. Okay, he did have the seat taken right away. So yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so Blood Moon still looking like it doesn't matter because I don't think it has mattered. Actually, Blood Moon is probably pretty good on this board. Yeah. I don't see why he couldn't wouldn't just kill a thing. He has shenanigans in hand. Like he'll just start killing everything every turn. Like why even let him get a chance to get ahead? I guess well, it's, I it replaces a draw. No, shenanigans is not instant speed. Oh, it's sorcery speed. It's a sorcery. As far as I know. Because I feel like, like Blood Moon actually would have been good there. One of the few oh, times. Oh, okay, so this is gross. <laughs> Hopefully Matt has some instant speed interaction because John's going to fuck his... Okay, he's got a braid. He's got a braid. What is that card he's playing right now? You need to abrade this Luris at instant speed, Matt, because that Seal of Primordium plus oh, Luris is going to fuck your day up. Yeah, that'll fuck it up. Yeah. Get that Luris out of here. Get that shit. I guess it doesn't matter. You didn't have to activate the thing because right. it just kills Luris. Yeah, get the Luris out of there. It would have been cooler if you made an artifact, though. Yeah. Uh, like it would have been, been a favor win. And it also <laughs> might have been playing around any fucking pump spells, I guess. John Brown, in honor of you, do you guys have any Swans of Ren Argo right now? Um, I have a playset that is going to be... I'm rebuilding my Swans deck. Yeah, Some version of Swans. Yeah. I don't think. No. Maybe. I don't know. That's a weird ass card that I cannot tell you if we have because nobody asked for it. <laughs> he, he lost to uh, to Valakut. 
I'm surprised like Scape Shift. He gets angry and loses the match. He, he, play, he played against Scape Shift and his Scape Shift opponent was just playing main deck obstinate Bailoff. It was it was really gross. I thought I was gonna end up throwing matches because Wurza was still sort of new to me at that time. I went seven and oh, on that day. It was it was the best deck in the format though, yeah. I think, at the time. Dude, they're okay, so that that's not one of those decks that you can just pick up and play because there were some crazy yeah. lines. Like at one point Holler came over and I can uh, I remember the situation, but I can never remember the exact specific like thing. But I had like two goblin welders out. My opponent was at two, and I had no way to deal two damage to them. Uh, so I had to. I was like, "How do I deal two damage?" And he was like, "You're playing uh, pyretic spell bomb, right?" I had to tutor up pyretic spell bomb, basically. Yeah. And yeah, somehow I got into playing. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Like, like, wait, can, wait, can you just win right now? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. No, I, I I remember that for a different reason. I played against a Storm opponent playing Death Shadow, and it's the worst draw I've ever had in a game of Magic, I think. I just... I did all the anti-Storm stuff that you could expect to do in what is basically a Legacy-style deck in Modern, and I just could not fucking draw a win condition to save my life. <laughs> that I happens, I, man. I played... I played... I lost 2-0 to Storm, which I think is a good matchup, and I don't think I drew a single... Uh, Gurmag or Death Shadow in the entire match. It was disgusting. That's rough. My opponent, he, he was nice. He was like, he's like, I think you played it really well. You just didn't draw. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's a real thing. That's, that's part of the game. Oh, I had a, I had an opponent. One of our rounds, he uh, plays his first land, fetches and shocks for like a hollowed fountain, and then Serum Visions. And I was like, you're playing Jeskai Stoneblade. He's like, do you look at my deck? I was like, no. That's just the only, <laughs> the only yeah. format right now that's yeah. playing yeah. Seven Visions and Hall of Found. I, I will say the one thing I was impressed with is a GP, uh, I know what I'm doing. the elf <laughs> the elf girl, the little elf girl. Uh-huh. A lot of people have said that like it's like highly publicized or Dude, she's legit. Because yeah, I, I I played against her like turn I know she's on L, so I'm like turn one, fetch, get watery grave, shock, and inquisition, and she's like I know what you're on. You're on Grixis Death Shadow. And like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah, she's like eight years old. She's so like, okay. One of our friends that was playing Burn. And so my, it was an early turn in the first game. And I play my uh, Pyretic Spellbomb. And she's like, that's a fake card. No, it was, it was, like, it was, no, it was, it's not that, it's the, uh, it's the little artifact. Yeah, the it was my spell bomb. My was it spell, spell bomb? bomb? Yeah. Because, because the mana, she was like, the the mana, mana symbol, symbol looks see weird. How, she's like, see how mine is red? Here's is black and white. And I was like, no, it's a real card. And she was like, judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call the judge over. And he was like, no, It's, dude, it's like, like those, so, uh, right, the, like those yeah. talismans or whatever that they did where, like, you remember they did those, like, yeah, 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 yeah. where, like, the, the symbols were that were in the body of the card were, like, great. Like, you really think if I was going to proxy a card, it was going to be a pirate yeah. spell. Well, yeah, no, and that's that's a it's frustrating that. thing. So, like, yeah, these, these, kids are, these kids are good, but, like, yeah. they obviously so, uh, were early to angle shoot. Because that's fucking angle shoot. Yeah, for sure. That's angle shoot. So like, oh, I'm going to get a fucking DQ. Bringing back a land. 25 cent card right there. That's big. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Did you just pretty, go for Pretty good start here for John. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that, well, well, that, that makes Reddit 6 way, way less good. good. Yeah, That's for sure. <laughs> so he... I mean... Um, now, now, I mean, Matt like does have people. to, like, keep it from ultimating because... Yeah, it should, it should be... be he'll probably just steal it at some point. <laughs> I would think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. I would hope so. I don't know. At some point in yeah. 3 minutes and 54 seconds? Hopefully, yeah. I don't think it's enough to kill anybody, yeah, I, I, I think he's pretty safe. Two rounds in a row. It kind of looks it's like it. Like yeah. 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 It's, 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 it looks it's, like drawing. <laughs> that's like, I'm going to get my... He's a oh, time oh, thief. I, I've called him... At, like, he, he gets like... It's like a tick now. Like, he knows. Like, I call him a time thief, and he gets like... Oh, so, my yeah. God. He gets so worried. Like, I feel he, like he is. He's a time thief. Like you're a time thief. should be Teferi. <laughs> Teferi. Let's slow things down. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So he's to fairy Faden, <laughs> the just, greatest time thief in the multi. John's just getting cards out of his hand at this point by casting the other Renin Six just to get that surveil trigger. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm the old stuff. I know, thanks for joining the booth, Mr. Yeah, Shireman. I like being here with you guys. No, that's such a compliment. It is. Uh, he's getting ready. I think uh, he's two O, so he'll well, he'll probably be at, yeah. the, at the table. You guys want to watch my O two rock deck? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we really don't. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, so clearly, th- good things are going to happen. I mean, it's getting crazy. I was just getting more. Well, one, one thing I would like to see uh, Isaiah's uh, oh, yeah. Isaiah's he's running is no, he, he's one and one. But so we'll, we'll probably he's running it back at ten. He got his fog thing. So, so we might do that round one, depending on what it, as nice. long as he's I, not I playing. I challenged against. his ass the other day because he was talking some. Yeah. yeah, he was talking some game about something. No, it's, like, oh, it's, no fucking it's a fun deck that embarrasses back, people, man. and I like. Oh God, yeah. it, that's that's the <laughs> thing. It's I, I actually said it on stream. I'm like, I'm like, you know, Caleb. Like right off the bat, I'm like, Caleb. You know, like, you know, he, this is a, a tense spot because you know you don't want to lose this deck. That's embarrassing. You know, it's it's just embarrassing. And yeah, right. after that loss, oh man, he got he got a little bitchy. So unfortunately, oh man, Matt just drawing all the draws. God. Yeah, that's a that's a good card. Yep. The braid and killing the Darcy. Well. It is so, good in the format, uh, and it's very good in this deck, of course. John's in this the weird metal spot stuff. where he can, he can cast additional Ren 6s, he can cast Tarmogoyf, and he can cast... Uh, yeah, he's got Darcy in hand, it looks okay, like. Okay, Darcy. He's got some stuff, but he's definitely held up by this Blood yeah, Moon. Yeah, bl- this, this, this was a good Blood Moon. Yeah, this has yeah. yeah. been the best yeah. Blood Moon of the night. That's a lot of lands in that hand, too. Yeah, he has got a lot of lands. I don't, uh, I mean, the Resolve Blood Moon is good though. against all Shadow decks. Um, the yeah. problem is, a lot of times it's too slow against shadow decks. Right. Like a, re- a, a resolve, like Blood Moon just wrecks Grixis Death Shadow, except for the fact that you're already dead. Yeah. On turn yeah. three. And they probably just counterspell it. Does Blood yeah, Moon yeah. still matter on tap? It's just shock? Yes, yes, it does, actually. Yeah, because, it's, because it's a mountain. mountain. Just a lowly mountain. Gotcha. So. Let's see if we can peek at what Matt's got in hand. He's thinking. Yeah, it's cool. You only got 50 seconds. Is that Matt Wise? I don't think there's anything you can think about that will matter. No. <laughs> but, uh, he's got another braid, Prismari Command. He's got a he's got a good hand, a lot of options, yeah. but he just he's doesn't have he doesn't, doesn't have a win condition. No. Okay. Well, he doesn't have a, a five turn win condition, <laughs> which is what he needs. Although he could, he could I don't combo. know. He could, he could he could randomly just draw Probably the piece to do it. Go. So he definitely needs to get the coding out of hand. He's a, which is good. Well, he needs to make sure he can kill the kill things on John's good. side. And that's going to let him do it. So he's got the coating, so he can kill anything he needs I to kill now. I feel like he's in danger of health right now. And with the Matt? Yeah. He's uh, 19, isn't he? not, with, not with the interaction and John not having counter spells. Like, I like just from our command there to kill that and then draw two to try and find a combo piece. Time. Well, now he's got the ability to kill anything that John plays. And since, well, the thing is, though, John's not playing half of his threats because he doesn't have the means to do so. Yeah, exactly. So, he's going to get in. Um, He's going to kill it anyway. And he's just going to say, a braid, blow it up in case you got pumps. No damage, just kill. And it looks like... Moving on. Well, just one I would taken if else. And he's got another Sahili, so that's not what he needs. Nope. So at this point, Certain he numbers. should he should loot probably at the end of. Yeah, see what he plays. See if he has yeah. With it. Although the just getting the Sahili down is probably fine. Yeah, because that's a because it's going to dig. Yeah, he has to dig right now because he has to get his combo or else he's not winning the match. So you have, he needs a mill card in hand as well, right? Or does the Sahili find it? He just needs the mill card right now. So he can so either could be this turn play Sahili, next turn try and draw towards that. Yeah. I would just I would just jam Sahili. Um John Nobody might John might kill it, it, but I mean if he, he has to just man. play to it. He, he needs he needs to scry, right? Like yeah, exactly. Like on. if if cuz he has two Sahili, so if John kills one Sahili, it won't matter. Yeah, he's commanding. Okay. So commanding maybe making it all right, getting There's rid of the basics. So John's on basics only, so, or basic, basic mountains only. John not happy with how this game is going. Probably not happy that his opponent stole all the time from him. He's like, yeah. where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, oh, where did it go? Another land that doesn't do anything you needed to do. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's the thing that makes this kind of blah. Is the running six. I do feel like 
Matt should have got the Sahili down that turn. I kind of agree. And kept the removal up. 100% agree. I think you need to start scry- getting the, you, see, you need to did see he, extra cards. Did he draw another? He did see two cards there, but now he has to have a turn addition. Yeah. Plays so he this drew. I can't tell so what he, he drew. Turn this, right? Oh, he drew a Shadow Sphere. Yes. Shadow which he, he doesn't, do doesn't do anything right now. Nope. He's a Scry with Sahili and he'll be good. Yeah. Player. Come on, buddy. Up. <laughs> nope, That's not land, quite. Right? No, it's the Tormod script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ditch that. Line. I thought for a moment it was the, the altar, and I'm yeah. like, oh, maybe this is it. But no, he he didn't. He he I didn't. See a draw. I mean, if he fucking top decked the win condition, that would be, be pretty good. ridiculous. He, he no, I mean, even drawing what's the scene Karn. Scene? He could he could draw a Karn and do it. Yeah, Karn, Karn would be good. Because uh, I know he has earlier he got one out of the one? sideboard. One. So like Chris Martin no, Chris Mark Man wouldn't do it because he has to discard the same cards he draws. Yeah. He needs to draw it or a Karn. If he draws a Karn, he, he can have it. Serum Vision gives him a redraw. Nope. No, that's not that's no, not it. That's not it. That's the seventh of Raiden's class game. Mm. <laughs> not gonna do it. And that, sir, is another uh, draw. Well, we got a new nickname for Matt Wise. Uh, uh, Teferi <laughs> Faden, the greatest time thief in the multiverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's nothing to say about that. That's oh, another. Man. That's another draw. Hello, Mac One Fifty Eight. Always waving to us. How's it going? Yeah. That is spice. What is spice? Anything ephemerate? Yeah. I'm down. What are you even? I mean, he's undefeated. undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, he is undefeated. Yeah, he's for 0 sure. 0 2 now. Yeah, that to, is. Uh, we get to broadcast it to you twice. That's that. All right, that so was, uh, we're gonna go uh, figure out our last match. It may include a uh, Shire Man, maybe not. We'll find out. Right Stay back. tuned. Hey -o. All right, so on to round three. We've got uh, Chris Nice playing some Ponza. Versus one Dustin Shireman. Currently tied, tied for second on the leaderboard. Currently but tied for second. He's tied for first with a win here. Yeah, he's uh, trying to not come in. He hadn't been here in a couple weeks, weeks and he noticed he was, he was no longer in first, so he had to come in and change, change that. that. Which is exactly the attitude we're trying to, to yeah. cultivate here. That's what we want. Cutthroat. Come in here, get the job done. And he's playing the. He's, he's, he's really grown to love this Abzan deck. Oh, I mean, Charmin's uh, always been an Abzan guy, and then... Uh, there's some more. Let's do it. Right. It's... It's easy. Or easy. Uh... Just C. Just C-E, I think. There's a Z. I don't think there's a Z. I don't think there's a Z. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Did I spell it wrong? Z, C, you know, whichever. Uh, they're already playing. Oh, I can't figure out his name. It's fine. We know who it is. Chris Nice. NYCE, I think, is what it is. I don't think there's a Z. I think there's a, I'm going to say there's a Z. Okay, there's a Z. Fuck it. It's all yeah. good. Z's, I, I Z's in the house. Z last time, so <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling with it. All right. Uh, they, they've decided, decided to start, start without us. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, we'll catch up. We're yeah, okay at this. I'm only giving him 48 minutes of because... <laughs> I don't think it's been two minutes. Give him 49. No, no, no I'm giving him less because I started without us. They get, a, they get a one minute penalty. <laughs> um, All right. So off to the fucking races for Shireman here, the classic turn two stone forge. It's the thing that the deck always does, and a player will always just keep a hand to make sure you can do that. Uh, Chris has got the Utopia Sprawl start, which is classic for what the deck is doing. Uh, let's see a land destruction spell. I mean, this is Ponza, right? That's what we want. Let's blow up that land. He's not going to do it with two green. Uh, he's not going to do anything. There's a Z. Son of a bitch, I was wrong. There is a Z. Z in the house. All right, so I don't know what Chris has here, but I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, I think he's going to die this game. He needs to kill... I don't know if he knows, but if he doesn't kill a stone forge, he's going to die. Yeah. He needs to he needs to not die to the stone forge because he's totally gonna fucking die to the stone forge. Like, your, your artifact for destruction is real. actually no good. Yeah, no good at all. It's kind of kind of terrible, really. Um, oh, I don't know what he has. What does he have? Nothing. He's thinking. See if we can see. 
Can't right. Uh, you got to pillage. Blow up the land. Blow up the, no, you can't blow up the land. Oh, an Arbor Elf. That's impactful. Well, um, <laughs> All right, Chris. So you may die this game. What do you game. think you might have in a sideboard? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably nothing that exiles, which is what he really yeah. needs. He needs more burn. Sherman, so uh, Sherman doesn't even have his third color. He doesn't need it. No, he, he, I mean, there it is. But it, you don't need it. Hey, here's a giant thing with haste that you can't deal with. Huzzah! The card's fucking gross. It's, it's pretty, pretty disgusting. disgusting. All right, Chris. You gotta draw some draw some stuff. Uh, nothing in his hand seems remotely good enough. I think he'd probably just blood right here and hope to. Ah, sure. I I guess I don't I don't know I don't I don't I think mean, he's you're, you're dead. You're, I don't think he's doing there's anything. Just nothing on this with the call. Yeah. Out of this. I mean, no, in this deck, there's nothing in this deck that does anything. Right now, I think he's going. Nope, he's pillaging. That would have been great last turn. Nah, it doesn't uh, work. Chris. It's indestructible. Then he hasn't seen this card. Chris has not been playing a whole lot lately, so okay, there we go. Oh, he's uh, going after a land. Okay. A basic land. Okay, so you must have Blood Moon attention. He does. I think I saw Blood Moon. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all good and great, great except, except you're just dead. How did, how did he pillage and Blood Moon? Um, he untapped the forest. That's still only that's six mana. Yeah. He had one, two, no, three, he's got, he's got four, four lands in five. Place, so he's got oh, okay, six, okay. Yeah. I didn't see the other one. His hand was on top. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's still not nearly good yeah, enough. Yeah, that's a really powerful turn. That is, that was dead. really powerful shit. Yeah, but you're dead. But Cauldra says I trample, so. Yeah, she does trample. That's. No, fuck, fuck this card, card, man. Like, yeah. like, like, it's like Cauldra, obnoxious. like. Now, it's only good because of Stoneforge. And Stoneforge yeah. is a very easy thing to answer. Unless, uh, Chris, Chris has the, Oh, uh, God, that right there. That's. That's why you don't play Blood Braid and Ponza because of that. Oh, it's been yeah. four mana to get a fucking one one mana dork. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, at least he doesn't have to draw that card. <laughs> <laughs> that is a loose justification, <laughs> but I guess it's yeah. one. I mean, it, <laughs> it's fair. It was free. <laughs> it, it was free. Sure. But of all the free things that you want to get yeah. with cards that give you three free things, it's not a fucking Arbor Elf. He, need, he needs the. Uh, <laughs> What's the, the red split card that has the red bounce? Like, that's the one thing. That oh, Dead and Gone? That would actually yeah, be yeah, fucking... Dead and Gone would be fucking stupid. Dude, right Dead now. Gone would be awesome. Dead and Gone would be sweet. I, dude, I respect the shit out of that card. It's, I think it's, it's actually pretty good right now. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is really good right now. It kills a little shit, and it puts big things back in their hand. Like, no, it's great. It would be amazing right now. Because there's... He's... Yeah, this is toast. This is nothing. If, 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 if nothing else, else, I think it's, it's worthy of a cyborg consideration, consideration just because he has no other way to deal with this other than yeah. just killing Stoneforge yeah. immediately. Which he didn't. Uh, that isn't... It's a 1-1. One -one. Well, I mean, Destin's not casting things because the Blood Moon, but it's not... It just doesn't matter. Hmm. Why are we not cyborging? I think we, we should, should be sideboarding. Should, I mean, we should be sideboarding. I would be. I, would I docked be them a minute already. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they can't be wasting time. I would be sideboarding. Playing out these silly little matchups where it's already over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, that's just yeah. taken away from bonus coverage. Like, come on, guys. Deal with yeah. the team. Team dynamic here. All right, so we you have, have no two, good block. Three, five. He could just. He could. Live exactly. Yeah. And he puts everything in front and the, of And him. the sad thing is, his fucking pyromancer gets exiled. Yeah, that's that's exile. still going to kill that's, you. It's a seven-seven. Uh, what? Uh, Does this thing not have trample? Uh, I thought it did. I'm pretty sure it has trample. How is he still? How is he still alive? What's what's the Calder? Calder complete. It has trample because. What's how do you? Was it with a K or C? Uh, Cauldrons of the K completes with a complete. One of those things. Super sci fi Borg esque shit. Alright, well, it doesn't matter anyway. They're dead. Chris is dead. Alright, sideboard. Alright. No, I just fucking. I just. 
I don't like Blood Braid where you just cascade into bullshit. It just needs to be action. Even I, if it's I like think not great action, it's still This needs is to be a action. very very slow, non proactive hand for Shireman. So Shireman doesn't have the turn two thing, which is what he needs because that's what yeah. wins games. It's a lot of lands. I'd probably I'd probably is that no, that's four lands. That's, yeah, it's that's it's one lot. hand disruption, two removal spells and Four well, lands. they're both keeping it, so let's see where this goes. I, uh, just judging off the hands, I, I like Chris Nice's spot here. Yeah, he looks a little bit better this game. Uh, he's going to get a Fatal Push, or no, he's just going to go Thoughtseize, okay? Alright. I actually kind of like the Fatal Push better here, because if you... Uh, Alright, well, he's taken... I think I think if you fatal push the Arboro, like I mean, he, it's going to work out okay for it's him. The, it's the same thing. There's really. there's a chance though, like you could, you know, if he had like two three like two stone rains, right? You know, then like all of a sudden it just doesn't look as good because you can always thought seize the next turn, take him off the mana now. Don't let him cast his three drop. Yeah. Well, because this deck doesn't play two drops, so. I I, oh. I really kind of like the fatal push there. <laughs> Question beast coming in hot in a turn. <laughs> I mean, it won't because it's going to get this. Okay, well, now it will. Yeah, man. Like, by not fatal pushing on turn one. Well, I guess he can actually kill both of them here. He's got two removal spells. And I think you need to. Yeah, I would say so. So get the get the planes or get the the temple garden, and uh, exile one, push the other. No big deal. Alright, so he's got the basic planes. And just like we called it, Fatal Push on one, and he's going to exile the other. And that's just a good solid turn. It's going to slow Chris down immensely. And goes and gets a Stomping Grounds. And uh, we're seeing it here. Chris not drawing his three drops is really be becoming a problem. It's been a problem. And there's a Blood Moon. If he's got the... Oh, and no third land from Chris. Oh, what a dagger. Oof. That's rough. Uh, he finally drew a three drop. It wasn't a good three drop, but he finally drew a three drop, but no third land. The, like getting rid of the two elves just just murdered his and soul. He's lingering so. Oh, there's the third land. It's a turn late. This blood moon's gonna look trash. Yeah. Uh, like, well, he can't flash back so, lingering uh, souls. We're I three mean, for four. Three for four. Uh, four blood moons in play tonight. Three of them have looked like trash. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And everyone that's been in hand. Has also been really bad. I mean, he can still top deck his way out of this. I think this is a very top deckable win for Chris if he draws the right cards. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Which, this is this is looking pretty dire. I mean, uh, Sharon's got a couple man lands, which I mean, he, the man lands aren't anything because yeah, he's got two print. more two more spirits coming. No, he doesn't because he doesn't have black. Or does he have? Black? He has. Oh yeah, he oh, has okay, two. Sorry, he has sorry. two black sources. Yeah. Sorry. Well, he has one black source. No, he's got. He's got two. No, Blood Moon's on the table. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. you're right. I forgot that that was a thing that happened. Yeah, so he has one Black Source. Yeah, one Black I thought, Source. I thought yeah, he had yeah, no so black he didn't actually have Manlands either. So. Having, yeah, Manlands are not a, yeah, a so thing. He's, he's got a lot of mountains. He's going to Thought Seize. I probably would have just went for the... Well, Thought Seize looks pretty good when... Uh, yeah, oh, those, man. those are some heaters. Yeah, this is where it got... Chris just kept all these four, like all these really good four drops, and he's got no fourth land. Yeah. So I feel like so. Like, if, I, if you're Shireman, you just got to hope to dodge. Okay, I don't, I don't I know, man. Would have taken the questing beast. The questing beast is scary as hell. Yeah, it, it really he is. Top decks a land. That's no, no. Granted, he has the answer to any four but drop. He just top deck a goddamn. Or he doesn't have an answer but to he any. He just four. top deck a goddamn. Okay, it's a bolt. Yeah, oh, man, we were gonna have. 
We're going to throw some hands. What did you think it was? Fucking Blood Moon. Oh, pro- yeah, he will. It's I coming. Mean, it's going to happen. Oh, okay. Well, he finally has enough. Okay. How, wait, how does he have enough to do that? He does. It's I no, 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 no. He tapped these to do that. Yeah, that that that's no, that's a treetop village. How did he it's, have? Green? It's black, white, red. Oh, derp, derp, derp. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. That's all right. I've done it once. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So now this looks pretty well, Shireman's. Just, yeah. Just round um, it out. If he can, oh, oh. I don't. I don't know what he's get. If he, if he can blood braid into anger of the gods, which I don't even don't know. Think he brought in. He no, didn't bring in. I don't think yeah, he that would. In. That's unfortunate. That's yeah. really unfortunate because I think that's your best so, play. So you know here. what? Fucking lingering souls, man, is still fucking lingering yeah, souls. We've we've seen it time and time it's, again. It's a good card. Yeah, sh- I don't think Charmin- it ever stopped being a good card. People just got off of it. Yeah, Chris, you're pretty well fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going anywhere good, man. Uh, he got the second. Okay, okay. Let's see if he's got some clutch ass card in his hand. Maybe he sneaked in a uh, anger without us knowing. I would hope so. Because he would be in the game if he had some kind of a sweeper. But I don't think that he did. He did not see the Lingering Souls angle of Shireman's deck. So he wouldn't know that it was there. Yeah, nope, just same shit. Well. Yeah, Questing Beast doesn't do... Man, if only that card had lifelink. Yeah. <laughs> it has everything else, literally, but not lifelink. Yep. Well, uh, well, he's not dead yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, he can actually steal this with a bolt, right? Uh... Uh, Does he have a bolt? In like, no, because this is a four-four, so he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could steal yeah. those with a bolt because these shit. things cannot block. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, there's no reason to keep anything. Well, I guess uh, Bloodbraid Elf is a reason to keep things back, but yeah, he can't block uh, any of them because yeah, he can't block any fires. of them. So he's going to two. But oh my god, he is. If he, if he squeaks this out, yeah, that would be he, fucking he, amazing. Yeah, Charmin is just dead to bolt unless oh he. I don't think he has a removal spell that, that'll work on a four drop. Let's see, let's see his hand. Bloodbraid Elf will be a redraw for a bolt. He needs bolt. Four. Uh, he's got something. Oh, oh he's got he, the, okay. He's got the treetop village. All right. That does block. Um, oh, he had the bolt, too. Yeah, he had the he bolt. He had the boy. Oh, he. Oh, it's still not enough. No, he could. He's got two burn spells no, in hand, but it's, it's they're not the right was, ones. It was close. It was close. Yeah, it was. It was really it was close. close. Uh, wait, does this have trample? Oh uh, fuck, I don't I think know. It does. Huh? It does. So. Oh, he can still win this. He can still win this. I believe it's vigilance and trample. No, it's vigilance, death touch, and haste. It does not have trample. Okay. okay. And that yep, is it. That wraps it up. So Shireman is now tied for first with Carmel yep. Salinas. Yep, he came in. He wanted to get that extra win to, to tie that up, do it. So one Very thing, business like. He just walked in like, yeah, oh, yeah. Hadn't been in in a while. I yeah. saw that I was no longer in first. I thought I had to come. All right. In and so this that. this is for you, uh, Mr. Shireman, because I know you you came in when we tried to do it, and it, and it hasn't happened. And uh, I think it's just been a combination of things. But Modern League is going to start. We're going to give it a go again after the release of Innistrad. So, the week after the set release, which is going to be the week of the 27th or 8th or something like that, Modern League starting. Um, And everybody that is qualified in the Invitational, everybody that is invited to the Invitational, will have free entry to the Modern League. So, Shireman, you've been wanting to make it happen. You've been wanting to play in the Modern League. Here we go. Get in here after the release. Everyone's going to be excited to play with new cards anyway, so should be a good time. But, yeah, congratulations, Mr. Shireman, for getting that uh, that third 3-0. Yeah, like absolutely. That.